As Christmas approaches, the adventure bastards journey across the oceans to a strange land to face a danger that might destroy them all. Ladies and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Bastards. So tonight is our Christmas special. Um, are we all excited? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've got Christmas head. It's, it's very Christmassy on our heads. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, as with last time when we recorded on Skype, one one of us is one of the the team gets the random green screen at the minute. It's Emmy, but it's usually Becca. It'll just jump around over the course of the the call. I'm sure. Um, but anyway, so uh, last we left you guys, you were in uh, just uh, messing around on the boat in Southampton. Uh, you've been to prison actually in back, hadn't you? So yeah, yeah, we yep. got out of prison. Guess who just got out of prison? <laughs> <laughs> so shortly after, that. shortly after you guys get out of prison, yeah. Um, uh, well, with few, probably actually time has passed because it's um, now December. Christmas is starting to come uh, come on board. On board, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of boats, so uh, Rose comes to visit you and says, um, "Ladies, I have an important and sadly dangerous mission for you um, from the mistress. She needs you to board a ship tonight, headed for New York City." Um, what is with the boats? Uh, you guys have apparently, Wait, I'm not complaining. Apparently, you guys are really good what, with boats. What year is it? Um, it's uh, mid mid twenties. Nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not getting on a boat. I know the last time we were on a boat, and also the Titanic. Titanic was um was about like I think it was like um five ten years earlier something like that. Yeah, that was 1912. Yeah, so, so, so we're worried still. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're, this is like a, a it's recent been a decade. thing. <laughs> I don't want to die in the sea. It's cold. This didn't stop us getting on a boat last time, so I don't see why it's going to stop yeah, us. but we were last going to New York. Yeah, yeah, like, that's not the point. Rose and that's Jack try to go to New York. Um, well, this, How well did that end? This, this Rose feels like she thought you'd be excited to spend New, um, Christmas in New York City, you know? I'm excited. Is Rose coming? Uh, Rose says, unfortunately, she's not, re not really allowed to, to visit America at the moment. Well, well I'm into America. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, nothing about that surprises me. <laughs> um, but she says once you once you get to um, New York City, um, head to the Capitol Theater for a special showing that's just for you, ladies. She says, "I'm sorry, I can't tell you any more, but if I did, it would put you all at great risk." Um, so she wishes you luck and says she she does sincerely hope she does get to see you all again. She actually thinks that we're going to make it, doesn't she? No, but like, she hopes is she the will. risk being on the boat, or is it what's in the theater? Like, N neither. She's more worried that the mission, the mission you're on, is is probably more dangerous than the one you've been assigned in the past. Um, I don't care about the mission. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get to New York. Okay. Um, the thing that... uh, the, because we've just done a boat adventure, the boat sequence is going to just automatically happen you guys are just going to start the adventure in new york oh really okay okay so we're just going to arrive okay. in new york how long does it take to get to new york i think it's like a couple of weeks back at this um, in this era 
Okay. Um, well, are I'm we still alive? Have, have we still each other? <laughs> We're not dead. I was going to say, have I not thrown um, Lauren off the boat yet? I what? Hope uh, well, you probably, well, I mean, I was going to just jump you straight to the docks in, in New York City, but obviously if you guys want to... Um... I need to let you know what I'm doing on the boat, because <laughs> I'm going to make contacts in New York, so I'm going to try and make contact with people who I feel like could be good to know when we get to New York. Okay. okay. Can I, like, roll for, like, a general friendship <laughs> making <laughs> roll? Scout um... The talent roll. <laughs> this would probably be um, something to do with your, um, uh, like your charm, really, wouldn't it? Something like that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, give me a charm roll. See how you do. Okay. Uh, oh God. Like, like, let's figure out how. Uh, is it roll slash or slash roll? Slash roll space one d one hundred. Usually, that's your main one. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, you. Wander um, around the boat. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is your score your number plus what's in the brackets? No, no. no. There's no way your charm is 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 um is above eighty three. So. You know what? It's fucking close. <laughs> but non nonetheless, what happens is you attempt to be charming. Is you go around the boat. You maybe either get a little drunk or you act a little too drunk and people start to be a bit like, oh, God, she's a bit annoying. <laughs> this is <Whoa>. cool. <laughs> you make a bit of a tit of yourself as you wander around the boat anyway. Uh, it's Christmas. People need to lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, the rest of you want to attempt anything on the, on the boat trip? Um, I'm at the bar. Of course you are. Because of <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it's where I'll be all all Hi. trip. Um, can you, um, Heather? Can you give me a look roll? Uh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> okay. So, um, while you're at the bar, you um, befriend uh, a, a young man who um, tells you that um, that's a, so he comments on that you seem to be quite uh. uh not, I don't know how to describe it, a good drinker. Not like a heavy drinker, but you seem to be somebody who knows and appreciates your alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> he admires your mug. <laughs> As you yeah. wave yeah. from side to side. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he says, um, he says, if you're looking for a good speakeasy when you get to New York, he says, he gives you an address of his favourite. He says, um, he says that um, I'm good friends with the woman who runs it. Um, uh, tell her I sent you, and she'll um, she'll give you some of the good stuff. Mm, thank you. And she says a speakeasy is always a good place to know because it's always a good way to, you know, find a bit of information on the down low. Oh yeah, is alcohol illegal in America right now? Yes, it is. Very much is. Oh. Uh, they will, will, they, will they search us when we come off the boat? Uh, Do we really want to go there? So, um, you would normally be searched and you'd normally have customs, but um, Rose and the mistress have arranged for you guys to um, arrive under diplomatic passports to allow you guys to skip most of the customs process and get dropped off straight at the docks. Okay, so right. I get through with all my booze then. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> in my possessions. <laughs> Did you really bring it on the boat? <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I, my job is to um, make friends and loosen people's tongues. Therefore, I always have a healthy supply of alcohol at hand. Okay, well, be careful with that in New York. <laughs> and drugs, but I don't think they care that much about the drugs. <laughs> it's good drugs. It's, um... Uh, um, I've, um... I've, 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 written, I've written down roofies. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's good you're travelling on those passports because that'll help you get roofies through it. And also, it'll help any kind of weaponry you guys are carrying will be brought through. Although, and obviously, we don't play heavily into weapons, but um, it does mean that your standard loadout of gear will get on get into America without being searched. Anyway, so anyone else? That's that's two of you's um, boat trip. What about you, Becca? Do you, do you get up to? Oh, Freddie, I should say. What do you get up to on the boat? Um, it's probably best we don't go into what I've been up to. <laughs> We've probably been starting fights. Should we just stay away from the fight club in the break <laughs> that you started? <laughs> yeah, every night you guys are you guys just hear like rumbling from from the below, and as Freddie's like screaming, 
Freddy started like an illegal like fox and gambling ring and she gets off the boat like two hundred dollars richer. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to do some gambling. That would be fun. Uh, give me a look roll. Oh okay. Can you remember? oh god, now I have to check all my millions of screens that are open. <laughs> I can't access any of them properly. Well, um let's see your look. I think I just missed all of that. Was mine the only one that went totally whack? Uh yeah, my it was fine here. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What do I type to roll? Uh, slash roll space 1D100. Slash roll space D100. Please work. Yes. Yes, you did. Uh, so. Uh, oh, wait. Is that good? Yeah, that is good. Cause, uh, the lower the better. Yes. So you managed to double the cash on you on your trip by beating up a lot of people up in the little illegal fight club you set up in the in this <laughs> oh my god yes in the boiler room wow <laughs> yes um, you get a, you get a quite a reputation amongst the workmen and crew amongst the boat who um, kind of like uh, you know have a lot of respect for you by the end, by the end of the trip and oh, they're okay. also scared of you yes yeah <laughs> yeah I mean business. <laughs> I really fucked up, didn't I? I'm so dis I'm so upset right now. Um, so, um, Becca, I'm just going to double the cash on your end thing from three hundred dollars to six hundred dollars. Fucking <laughs> hell! Buy <laughs> things. What do you want to buy? Friends. Booze. Friends. Um. So. Um, uh. Emmy's Greg. character Louise. What do you get up to while on the boat? Emmy going to try and try and steal underwear again. <laughs> No, that's a Rose special, and Rose isn't here, so I can't steal any underwear. I'm surprised you didn't try when she was there. So, Louise, what do you get up to? Um, nothing. Do you want to come gambling? Do you want to come make friends? No, that's your thing, and you already fucked that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you're so used to failure, why don't you come and join me? <laughs> Are there any super rich people on board? Uh, there's definitely quite a few. There's definitely um, rich people. Um, uh, there's kind of a mixture of, of, of all sorts across the um, the different um, uh, you know cabin classes. You're not in first. You're kind of in like mid, the middle class group. I don't know what they call it. Um, nice. But, um, but there is definitely a bunch of first class cabins with some very poncy people. See, I don't really know what the mission is, so I don't know if it would be valuable even trying to break into any of those cabins. So, so it's probably not. It's not really worth the risk. Yeah. So yeah, this. I mean, this trip, the boat trip itself, is not really part of the mission. It's just, um, it's just the setup for where you're going to end up. So it's more a matter of if you wanted, if you wanted to do anything on the way to set yourself up on the for when you get there. Can I take steal an umbrella? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, That's ambitious. Uh, let me see what. It's not ambitious. People no, that, leave that, them that's everywhere. The joke. That's the joke. No, umbrellas <laughs> are useful. Uh, so that would be sleight of hand, but I would say this is a particularly easy sleight of hand. So I'd say. I'm straight. So well, I'll give you a pretty generous roll on this. So just um, if you give us a roll. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Worry. Yeah. So you managed to steal an okay umbrella. It's not it's nothing to write home about. It's not an umbrella you would try and impress your friends with, but it certainly does the job of keeping <laughs> rain and snow off your head. It can be this one with a duck head on it. <laughs> but 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 that's an umbrella that you would impress your friends with. <laughs> I feel like that's unrelated. Just just Becca really wanted to show off this umbrella. <laughs> I was just about to make a joke about what the fuck who wants it. Like in what situation would you show off to your friends with your umbrella? Yeah, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I think if it has a duck head on it, you should always show it off. The umbrella, I'm specifically <laughs> umbrellas. Mm. <laughs> Some real life advice there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So that's you guys. Um, your boat, your boat journey. Emmy, Emmy walks off with a brand new. Um, sorry, Louise walks off with a brand new umbrella. Freddie's um stocked uh, stocked up on cash. Um, I actually, uh, Isabel, is it? Um, Heather, your character, Isabel. Yes. Um, so Isabel has a good lead on a on a on a, a very high quality speakeasy, and Eloise, is that correct? Elsie. Elsie, sorry, Elsie is uh, useless. Oh, <laughs> can't win them all. Okay. No, no, no. We, we we can go and get some nice drinks You're and drown our set, sorrows. It'd you need great. to set the bar low, like I did, and then you come off with something. <laughs> yeah. 
Then I could come out with a really nice Charlie umbrella with a duck head. <laughs> yeah. When it starts raining, I'm set. <laughs> All right, so the journey ends, um, and you guys arrive in uh, the harb, one of the many harbors, actually, at um, on uh, New York City. Um, hold on a second, I'm just getting to the right bit in my plans. I lost, I lost the harbor. Spoilers. <laughs> Uh, so yes, you arrive as um, British diplomat, so you don't you skip over the customs process. All around you, um, I f- no, I was about to say oh, familiar faces. Familiar faces. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran's just sat in the dock, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, in fact, actually, all around you are unfamiliar faces. Um, it's. Oh. Um, but they are worn out faces because it is, it is it's not snowing right now but there's snow everywhere it's morning it's cold people are running around the docks in every direction on, on every kind of business um there's a you know but at the side at the side of the docks there's a handful of people sort of eyeing up the new arrivals looking for anybody they can sell things to or anyone naive enough to be they can exploit um, but you're kind of unceremoniously sort of pushed pushed through, you know, because they're diplomats, because they think you're diplomats, which are not, obviously, um, they kind of just figure you've got it and don't, so there's no rigmarole. They're just kind of like, there you go, you're out on, you're out on the streets. Um, good luck. Ready. Oh, my God. Open finally, land. Oh, pardon? Open the umbrella. Okay. It's what, indoors? Is. That's bad luck. So, we're outside. So you're outside on the docks, but it's not snowing right now. It's the snow on the ground, but it's this, but it's a, a relatively clear sky. Um, um, it I... might snow. You said it was gonna snow. It's already snowed. It snowed last night. You literally said it might snow any minute now. That was in your description. Yeah, but you don't do it when, like, just in case. You open it when it starts. Yeah, let, let, let's let's not preemptively open it. I like to preempt. <laughs> no. So you're in New anyway, York. Anyway, um, I want to go to the Statue of Liberty. Uh, what are we doing in New York? That sounds fun, doesn't it? We should go on some touristy trips. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, we'll, I'll, we'll talk about Statue of Liberty in a second. But just to remind uh, Emmy, um, if you remember, Rose told you to go to the Capitol Theater for a special showing. Oh, uh, when is that? Uh, she didn't. Spe- she didn't specify a time or date because I guess she didn't know exactly when you were going to arrive. Um, Do so... we have tickets to the show? Uh, yes. That would mean that would be a time and a date. No, the, yeah. the, t- the tickets. The tickets um, um, just have a, a strange symbol on them. It just okay. These are not <laughs> real tickets. <laughs> anyway, what I feel Why like we are should we do. Here? <laughs> what I feel like we should do since we're going to the theater is we should go get some nice outfits. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I put a lot of uh, money. This is, like, this is a repeat episode, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's uh, it, it's like one of those anime episodes where it's like a catch-up, where it like goes back over everything you've done so far. Maybe you should go back in and try and steal from the boat as well. Clearly, clearly our budget was so bad we had to reuse scenes from previous games. Yeah. Did we find a weird box in, in, the, in the ship? <laughs> Black was she, yeah, was she drinking black oil? She was. She was trying to get the bartender to make her cocktails that were um, had black in them to see if she could recreate the taste. Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about the fact that the black liquid ties in perfectly to the fact that Heather loves Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just clarify that it's Coca Cola? All right, right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, okay. All right. Well, um. Yeah, we should probably go steal some dresses. What was the theatre called? Capital, Capital Theatre. Theater. Are, we, are we stealing some clothes? Um, yeah, we should go get some nice clothes. You, okay. And not to dissuade you from that, but you yes, could you have I, but you could have brought as much nice clothes as you want. You know, you had luggage. You can't wear the same dress twice. Okay, okay. Some of us don't have any nice clothes anyway. I stole so... nice clothes in episode one. Why would I wear it again? We already wore that to a gallery opening. Oh, no, I completely agree. But Tyra said they had no clothes. They did. Yeah, shut your mouth. Mm. Totally regretting eating it. Depends what happened to it. What? Eating it? I just put it in my mouth and I was like, that is going to be so crunchy and shit on microphone. I was like, it is regret. really loud. Okay. Anyway, if we really quickly go to Bloomingdale's and steal some clothes. I found the ticket. Look, here's the ticket. Can you read it? 
I can only see a tiny it. bit. Ticket, of the Capital secret. Theater. I can do what I want. What I want. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's a bad idea to give our group tickets to say I can do what I want on the? <laughs> it's to... too late now because we've got them. Do you think this right. works in the dress shop as well? <laughs> Bring some dresses to the counter. Place it I down. Can do what I want. <laughs> I can do what I want. <laughs> We're diplomats. We're diplomats. <laughs> um, okay, so you can go to Bloomingdale's. Was open in the 1920s. You can you can visit Bloomingdale's if you wish. Yeah, let's go get some nice ass clothes, man. Cool. Mm. Just be aware, I've not had a good role for. You do one. You do one. A very long time. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe. I don't know if I have money. What part of we're stealing don't you follow? Oh, okay. I've got English well, money. Okay, okay. They might think that's worth more. I have English money, but you're not using cool. it. I've got money. We have stealing thingies. Okay, that's fine. What thing is? Stealing thingies. Mm. Right, let's just get this over with. So we've got something nice to wear, and we should get like, like those nice like um like winter coats and stuff like that. So we look all fancy. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Okay, so you guys heading to Bloomingdale's then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you head to Bloomingdale's. The shop is absolutely massive. It, or it pretty much covers an entire city block. It's, it's absolutely huge. Um, but um, and it's, and it's Christmas time, so there's like you know it's brightly lit and there's, there's masses of people moving in and out. It's kind of a very hectic time. There's like the, all the streets around are very um, you know lit up and bright to, for the warmth of Christmas, but yet the, the people themselves are probably a bit more uh, cold as they're all very uh, going about their own business. Should we do the same old trick that we always do? I guess. Surely for the size of the shop, if Freddy starts punching me to death, like, no one's really going to notice. Yeah, but if he's not going to be a good distraction. If he scream, he scream, yeah, you have to, like, shout really loud. Should we go in the shop and then... Start shouting. Yeah. That might be more fun. Okay. Okay, okay cool. so... You go inside, um, and on the ground floor, it's all, um, you know, ca uh, waist-high kind of counters. That's kind of the standard um, for the era. Um, but, you know, um, further back um, and on, on other floors, you'll get, like, full, you know, clothes racks and all that kind of stuff. So on this this floor, there's a lot of, like, makeup and jewellery and accessories, that kind of stuff. Should we just go straight for the clothes, or mm -hmm. should we steal accessories as well? We can't really do the same trick uh, on both of them. Uh, yeah, just the clothes. Yeah, just like the clothes. Okay, so you, I mean, so if you buy by scouting the store pretty quickly, you can find um, you find like um, you know, obviously it's broken down into lots of little sections and stuff. You find a uh, set with um, um, actually, what kind of clothes are you looking for? Dress. Like nice winter dresses. Okay, so yeah, you find um, you, you find, I mean, you know, it's obviously mo what most people are shopping for at the moment. There's quite big sections of it, quite a lot of shop assistants around. As soon as they see uh, four women looking around for clothes, they they start, you know, coming over. Oh, hello, can I help you? And there's like quite a lot yeah. of people around. I'm charming them. I'm gonna charm them. What? Are you, how are you? What are you saying? Uh, I'm gonna be like, so I've just come off this big boat, and I would really like something for this theatre that I'm going to. We're doing Broadway, by the way. I've never been to Broadway. We've got the West End, but that's like apparently something completely different. And I just try and like talk to them about the difference between like the UK. Also, I'm gonna put on a really fake British accent. Um, oh, oh, oh yes, so we just got off the boat and we're going for champagne, and we really like to enjoy some she says, theater. Um, you can roll for your charm, but um, I'm going to say she's like, oh, that's really strange. I spent, you know, I spent a summer in England. I can't really recognize your accent. Where's that from? Long no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. This is so unreal. No, no, no. <laughs> I have been to America and done that accent and they fucking fall for it. Don't that's you? True. <laughs> <laughs> I've practiced this in person. All right. Bullshit. Maybe, maybe I'm projecting. You are projecting. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so I, put, I, I basically amp up this, like, British accent and try and get them to, like, like just, yeah. And that's way end of my charm. Anyway, um, so, yeah, the, the women in Bloomingdale are charmed by you, and they, they, think, they think, oh, you're from England, I love England. 
Oh my I spent, god! I spent a summer there. Just a question, because I don't know about shops in the 1920s or whatever, but even if you charm the people who are on the shop floor, do I still not have to get past, like, security guards? And We're in, like, a out? department store, so, like, imagine, like, a Harvey Nichols kind of... So, um... Yeah, but this is where your plan falls down a little bit. Um, the rest of the department store, it's Christmas shopping season. There's just masses of people everywhere, including like there's two of the there's two of the, the clerks talking to you but there's like three others even in this section alone and that's why uh, the shouting distraction is going to come in really handy because but even but I if, thought that was like I... a contingency plan no that's how like the main plan that's our real plan huh? how do i get it out the store without we've got staying? bags just slip them in your bag they don't it's it's the 1920s that's not like they have like um alarms or anything I looked into this. I don't think they have alarms. They don't. Okay. So, do you want me just to just start shouting? Okay. No, start. Find dresses Pause first. Pause Pause no, find, find dresses first. Oh. Then, then we start the scene. There's no point oh. starting the scene if you haven't got anything. Yeah, that's a okay. good idea because you can be <laughs> yeah, especially to because I need over. you. I need you to start the scene not next to the dresses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get the clerks, I guess, to show me some nice dresses, and then I'll be like, oh, I'll think about this one, but I really like this one, and then put it down and then move <laughs> under some more okay. ones. So they're yeah. trying to accommodate you, um, but they're already starting to be a bit like, ah. Oh. Man, those people are. Uh oh, it's Christmas, isn't it? I'm not gonna give a fuck in five seconds when a big showdown starts. Um. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just kind of getting her to point out things. This is really nice. Yeah, maybe we'll come back for this one. Okay. Next so, one. So what? So what? So so what? So what are you doing then? I'm about to punch Isabel. We 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 should move slightly further over. We we should move somewhere a bit more central, next to the mannequins. Oh Near my god! Yes, please, please, maybe. Please, please knock, knock the mannequin, the mannequin over. Oh my god! Stop <laughs> throwing bits of mannequin at each other. Wait, wait, you want me to start? <laughs> I hope someone starts to get like choked with a Christmas wreath. <laughs> like, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Give me a second. Wait. She's running away. <laughs> Bring her back. She doesn't Hi. want to get punched. She's legging it. <laughs> you need to just I'm start just... shouting in the middle of the shop like a crazy person. Okay. Okay. Have you got a prop? <laughs> okay, I'm back. What's happening? I'm waiting for you guys. What are you? What, what are you doing? Well, you almost, we go. We're going. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Give me the signal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you. I'm sure you'll hear. I, the I like that you're a heist crew who slowly develops some really subtle ways of communicating with each other. <laughs> Just screaming in a department <laughs> store and winking at each other. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh God. Right. Um. I don't like that one. I, I like the blue one. What what are you on about? I want the blue one. We know we discussed this. We're not having blue. How can you I say know, that? I'm blue is like the, the worst one. color. It's like actually the actual worst. And it doesn't go with anything. But like, blue one green. Why why do you think green's any better? Like green, blue, doesn't make that much of a difference. We we should just go. Whoa! 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 Wearing red. Red is the word we're going for. That's it. I am not talking about this anymore. Yeah, but red is so Christmas. Can we not do something a little bit different? Okay, you want fucking blue, and I'm gonna rip off the <laughs> blue thing off the mannequin and throw it. There we go. You can take your blue and like get out what? of my face. Well, no! this is happening, and I like. No. Well, actually, you I want to know what. <laughs> All right. So, pausing you two for a second. I want wanna... screaming and like things going uh, everywhere. I like... want to find out what Emmy's doing now that there's a massive distraction going on. I mean, I guess. Is that leg? Hold it. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, try oh not God. to do too much damage to the store. Or you what won't be able to do the store. Take you out. <laughs> Fuck Christmas this year. Fuck <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the halls with each other. Literally. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me and my Christmas tree again. <laughs> Because you don't need, to, you definitely don't need to roll for this. You guys have definitely succeeded in pulling this this ridiculous plan. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
Um, so they've managed to pretty much knock out the attention of most of the store. So right now, you don't even need to roll. It's basically a free-for-all. <laughs> oh, okay. Take what you want. <laughs> I'll just Excellent. Say that. What? When you do it, I'm going to be like... <laughs> This one. Um, I just hold it up and wave it around and be like, this one's nice. So stealing the, stealing the dresses is fine. That's no problem. Um, I guess what are Emmy and Lauren going to do, or I need to start calling you character names, Louise and Elsie going to do to get this merchandise out of here without getting noticed? I guess we'll split it between our bags because we've got um, bags that we walked in with. Okay. So, so if we put two in each, then that's fine. Um, so that's fine. So you two, if you want, you two at least can leave the store quite quietly right now while everything else, while the commotion's going on. Bye. Bye. So now, cutting back to you two, um, Freddie and Isabel, there's a lot of security here all of a sudden. Well, I think that at this point we should just sort of let them escort us outside. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. It's because then we'll be good. in the right place at least. Like we'll both be outside. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah. Just um, to misunderstanding. They can't arrest us. So thankfully, it's the um... Christmas tree. This is coming with me. <laughs> the, um... and, the, and the leg. And the leg. I'll keep the leg. Yeah. Um, come you never know when you need a leg. So yeah, the security come up and say, um, <laughs> and ladies, we're going to have to ask you to leave and. And you guys seem quite agreeable to that, which pleases them greatly because what they were not looking forward to was a massive argument. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are all reunited back out on the pavement in front of Bloomingdale's with a Christmas tree, a leg, and two bags of dresses. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Merry this Christmas! Is coming. <laughs> okay, um, should we go get changed and then go to the fair? Yeah, why not? Um, they didn't arrange any accommodation for you, though. What? Well, I guess we'll figure that out after we've been at the theatre, right? Yeah, but where are you going to get changed? In the toilet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. yeah. My connection's gone dodgy. Okay, oh. you're fine no, for you, us. You seem fine. Yeah, you're fine for us. No, I, I just didn't hear any of that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh right. We're going to get changed. In the toilet. Okay. Right. Okay. That's fine. Right. So, um, you guys get changed into your brand new dresses, looking very much the part for um, for the summer. Is mine blue? Sorry, uh, if you wanted it to be. If, after after <laughs> all of that drama, it should probably be blue. <laughs> Sorry for the. It so should all be wearing blue. Y you you look like you're properly ready for the winter theatre season. Although, Amazing. Although I say theatre, the, the Capital Theatre is like a, a film theatre, not a theatre theatre. Okay, well, even so, it's still pretty big, nice, right? Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, so you guys head to Capitol Theatre. It's four blocks from the harbour where you started. It's a massive, huge square building. It's brightly lit with, like, this neon facade on the front, and then there's initial, there's additional neon signs running up the front of the building, and then a big one on the top. You know, you can't help but notice this is Capitol Theatre. They very much want everyone to know this is Capitol Theatre. <laughs> New York's not even the capital, so... <laughs> Um, and yeah, there's a. Um, just go in. <laughs> um, there's a single. There's a box office out front with a, um, a single woman manning it. I mean, single. Uh, in, there's a lower person woman. You don't know if she's dating or not. Okay. Um, <laughs> has she got a ring on her hand? <laughs> yeah. On her finger. Uh, no, she doesn't. So okay, it's so... probably a single single ah! woman. A single woman. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'll go over and present her tickets. She wearing a bra. Uh, she's behind. She's behind a thing. This is that magic. would be very impressive if you could I'm steal her bra. <laughs> I hope they've got anyway. like holes in the middle because then you could try and get it through the little holes. I'm gonna just present our tickets to her. Yes. Uh, she go. she looks a little uh, panicked at seeing them, um, and she's like, "Oh, uh, I'm." Uh, okay, okay, um, yeah, you, you guys, uh, you ladies, sorry, um, just, just, uh, head in, um, the manager will, manager will sort, sort you out. Why are you so scared? Uh, she says, she says, um, I, I didn't know when you were coming, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend. Why would you have offended us? Um, I, 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 I don't know, is this a test? Uh, yeah. no, I'm just curious that you're very nervous and we're just normal theatre-going citizens. 
Do you does, like the does, a, does a roll of twenty one <laughs> get me her bra? Uh, let me let me find out. Uh, uh yeah, yeah, definitely, because it's um, it's a hard success for you for you. Um, wow. I it is. <laughs> I guess, I, but I'm trying to imagine the logistics of how you pulled this off. I guess you must have put your hand under the ticket thing and just grabbed it right out of her. Um, Amazing. So in the middle, did she know her? in the middle, she... yeah, she didn't. She, it wasn't critical, so she did notice. So in the middle of Elsie saying, "Why are you scared of us?" <laughs> <laughs> Louise, Louise reaches in and pulls her bra out. Brilliant. <laughs> nice. Why are you like this? Perfect heist. <laughs> Why are you like this? Because I have to know that I can succeed sometimes. <laughs> okay, well, so anyway, you've got her bra and um, and uh, she sort of um, says, okay, and then sort of backs away so she can shout her shout over to her manager to let her know I'm, that you guys are here. I'm going to grab the bra off Emmy and then stick it back through the ticket booth and I then walk through. Give it her back. Well, too late. I've already grabbed it and give it to her back, and I'm walking into the theater. Uh, so, so inside the theater, um, uh, sort of uh, an elderly gentleman comes over with a big smile on his face. He says, uh, "You know, good, good after, good afternoon. Oh, good morning, I guess, ladies. Um, uh, I, I've been expecting you. Didn't know when you'd arrive. Um, we've got a special showing just for just for you. Um, so if you uh, if you want to head into head in through the main doors, we'll um, we'll get we'll get the reel up for you quickly." Oh, shortly. Not going to introduce yourself. Oh, he says, "Oh, oh, oh! I didn't think you'd have um, you'd be interested in me. Uh, my name's Gordon. I, I look, I look after, the, I look after the uh, theatre. It's a beautiful theatre you've got here. It, it, it is very. Thank you very much. It's very popular. It's doing quite well. Good to hear. Nice. He says, uh, "So, ladies, if you if you would." Sure. Unless anyone has any objections. What's in it the room? Nice. So you go inside and there's a big, um, it's a big like um, cinema, you know, cinema style theatre. Um, it's empty at the moment, um, so you can just kind of sit wherever you want, basically. There's no tax on the chairs. Can we get a drink before we go in? Oh my god, can we have popcorn? Uh, the um. <laughs> bit early, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say the concession stands aren't aren't open yet because um, they're, they're not really, they haven't really started showings for the day. It's fine. I brought a drink with me. I've got a hip flask. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so are you guys just gonna sit in the theater and wait for the showing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why I'm not? M and M's. So I'm just gonna eat these. Good morning, lady. I'm sorry for not meeting you in person, but unfortunately, that's for your own protection. I would thank you for visiting America, but unfortunately, you're in grave danger. But time is running out, so I really wouldn't have sent you to America if I had no other choice. I hate it, especially at Christmas. All that consumer product. Ugh. So I have, well, had a friend called Isidore Strauss, and he had in his keeping a very powerful and, well, important relic. An old stone disc. I don't know why he kept it, but... This is what I need you to track down and bring home for me. He died some years ago, but he assured me that I was in a very safe and secure place. Well, my darling, of course, stay safe. You're in more danger than you ever have been before. But please, don't mention my name. For some reason, I'm not very well liked in America. Can't fathom why. You know how much I like you girls. I really hope we see each other in person soon. Good luck. Good luck. That is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Even through all the distortion. <laughs> so, so that's, that's we, you. Well, that's your briefing. She I wants us to find no a stone. Idea what that was? A relic. A stone. Was it stone disc? Yes, it was a stone disc. How did you get that? <laughs> Just went onto some dodgy yeah, sites yeah. on the dark web. Don't ask. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you hear what it was saying? Oh, did they not because hear she, the words? Be because she's an archaeologist by trade. Of course, she wants us to get a relic. <laughs> I have no idea. I just heard. Okay, we're in more danger than we've ever been in. We need to find a stone relic. A mate had it, and they died a while ago. Yeah, that's what I got. And she doesn't know where it is, so we need to find where it is. That was a woman. 
Yes. May. That was the mistress. Was it? Yes. Um, yeah. I see. <laughs> Okay, so I mean, do you want to? Do, 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 um, does someone want to summarize that video for Emmy? I'll let Tari do it. I'm trying to find the right emoji. I literally just did. Okay. Mistress wants us to get mythical relic stone disc. Dude who had stone disc died a while ago. We need to find out where it is and bring it back. Is the mistress? Mistress is our boss. Yeah, you know the one who. Does she look like Gives that? us the assignments. <laughs> I really hope she doesn't look like that. <laughs> I think America it said, right? Yeah. America doesn't like her, apparently. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll find out during this investigation. Plot thickens. Um, yeah, and, I've, and you got the name of the person. It was Isidore Strauss, I believe it was. It was the person. Isidore Strauss. Yeah. Mint. Okay, um... So, um, where, does anyone come in to the theater after? No, the, the 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 projection cuts out, and um, you and that's and that's it basically. And when you come back, Gordon, out, do Gordon doesn't come back out. No, in fact, when you come out, both Gordon and the um uh, the um, box office lady are missing. Oh. Does that mean we can steal some popcorn? Oh, I mean, well, yes. It's all locked up, and there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no. There's nothing there to steal from at the moment because it's not. Is know, there a till? Uh, yeah, I mean, you'd pr you would guess it would probably be empty, though. Oh. Surely they'd keep a float in it. Probably Surely. not. They'd probably keep a float in the safe up in their office, probably not in the till. Oh, I can't be bothered to go all the way to the yeah. office to steal some fucking change. Um, since we don't have anywhere to stay, um, did you not mention, Isabel, that someone said that there was a good speakeasy um, oh, yes. in New York? Maybe we could go there and see if we can get recommendations on where we can go for the night? Yeah. My be... barmate said uh, that there's some uh, some interesting info we might be able to get there. Lots and lots of very interesting people go there, so maybe we could find something out. Sounds like a good place. Maybe to start. it's a little even if we don't find anywhere to sleep. What? Oh. It's about midday. Um, is there an ice rink in Central Park? I don't know if that was. I don't know if that was there <laughs> in the twenties or not. Anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think you're a little early for for um the Central Park Ice Ring. The main the main one was built in the um uh, late forties. Mm, people people well, sometimes during this era would, would, would um ice skate on lakes in parks, but um I, I don't know if they specifically did in, in Central Park or not. What can we do in New York then? Should we go steal some more stuff? We could, could go look for somewhere to stay. We like galleries. Yeah, but we don't have a trolley that we can get a painting out on. <laughs> my my recommendation would be to. <gasps> I've got it. We can go pet shopping. We can like pet dogs and stuff. Oh um, yeah, we could go pet dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find some um, okay, dogs. okay, okay, okay. They did have ice skates in nineteen twenty. Well, they had ice skates, but I was. Well, no, to... we know they had ice skates, but we're trying to. I was trying to find. No, see if they, had... they, they, had... they did in Central Park. Just trying to find. I'm kind of hungry. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess people were parking <laughs> on. People were um, um, skating on the lake at that point. Thank you. <laughs> You guys are free to do whatever you want, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna railroad you. But um, I will point out that you you can you you could also use the day to investigate Isidore Strauss. You don't have to wait for right. the speakeasy. As, as much as I hate, as much as I hate libraries, might we need to go to a library? Ooh, I would like to go to the library because it does look very pretty in photos. Okay. Well, I was thinking one of you could read a book, but yeah, I can look through newspapers and stuff. Can you? Because you haven't had a very good look so far with reading. Uh, well, yeah, but at least I'm not illiterate, so... Well, it's are you oh, anyway? Yeah. <laughs> well, can, can, can we just point out that Friday has had more luck reading than you have so far? That's fair. That's, that's fair. But, you know, it's, it's a place to begin. If I can't get anything, then at least there's like three others that can try, maybe. We can ask some dudes, see what we get. 
That's a good idea. Sure, why not? Let's go to the library since... Okay, so you guys head over to New York Public Library. It's um, located just south of Central Park, and it's one of the largest libraries in the world, and it resembles nice. more like a huge grand museum than uh, any mm. kind of library. It's kind of got... Uh, it's vast in kind of every collection of information about everything from across the world, but especially, you know, New York and its more prominent citizens. Nice. So, where the fuck should we start? Like, what kind Can of you section? Go yeah, we lost Emmy. What, what kind of sections do you think we should look in? I don't know. Like, ancient relics? Uh, do they have a section for that? I can't read, so I don't know. Oh. I'm going to go look in the uh, phone mm -hmm. book. Don't leave me. Okay. Okay, you can come with me. Okay. You don't need to roll for that. In the phone book, there's quite a few uh, Strausses. Quite like quite a lot of them, in fact. Okay. Um, My net's gone whack I'm again. Lost Taru. Oh, no, she's, no, back. She's, she's back. Uh, but there's no there's no Isidore Strauss though. Um, how many Strausses? Uh, probably about um, twenty. Um, any I Strausses? Uh, yeah, a couple. I'll write them once down. Okay. That's what it starts with, right? I. Yes. Okay. Well, what what are you checking? I missed that. I'm, I'm looking in the phone book and I'm writing down all of the I Strausses and their addresses. Cool. Good. Good. Uh, can I? Uh, it's 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 a place to find out about prolific people. Oh, uh, it's every, everything. I mean, it's um, New York Public Library is one of the big. Is I think one of. I mean, even today is one of the fourth biggest library in the world. It's kind of like no, but like. Define prolific. Was this guy prolific? Do we, we don't, know? If he's we don't prolific? know anything about this person. That's uh, but we know that they deal in relics. So maybe it's worth you investigating in the like archaeology section or um, mm. something like that. Mm, Look at the death. If any help, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a help for me. Yeah, I'll I'll read. How about thing. you do some reading before you start drinking again? Okay, okay. I'm gonna yeah. read. Can I um, go and speak to someone at a desk? I'm assuming there's some kind of tele public telephone I mean, there's, in there's, the library. There's loads of information booths. Is there phones in there? Uh, there might be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to just start calling them. Oh, you're going to start calling the numbers? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I can talk to people. Okay, so you ring the first I Strauss you got and they said, uh, Hello, this is Ian. Uh, hello, um, is anyone called Isidore who lives there? Um, no. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've got the wrong uh, number. Uh, okay. But bye. What were you going to say? Um, you know, Isidore Strauss died a long time ago, right? Wait, Who's Isidore Strauss? Let's see. Uh, well, you, I thought you said Isidore, right? Yeah, I did. Who, who, who died a long time? Who, who are you talking about? Well, you know who Isidore Strauss is, right? I assume that's who you're asking about. No. I mean, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why don't you tell? You know, you've piqued my interest, Ian. You know, I feel like we're building up a good report. Why don't you tell me the story? How do you not know who Isidore? Everyone in New York knows who Isidore Strauss is. I know who Levi Strauss is, but <laughs> I don't know who Isidore Strauss is. <laughs> I'm not. I, I, you, as you may be able to tell from my accent, we don't I go don't, here. I don't, I don't. I'm not from here. Oh, you're from England. I love England. Uh, he doesn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> he says Isidore Have Strauss. You met the queen? <laughs> yeah. Do you know David Beckham? <laughs> yeah, David Beckham lives next, lives next door to me. He says Is Isidore um Isidore ran um, ran Macy's. He's he's got a park. He's got his own park. He you know um, he died on the Titanic. Oh right. I mean, um, oh, I've been afraid of boats since I heard about Titanic. So um, how did you get here? A boat. <laughs> it wasn't a good. <laughs> didn't have a very good time. Um. So like um. Hold on a second. Um, how? Okay. That's that's fine. <laughs> is that is that the, the only Isidore Strauss, or do you think that there's I, someone else called Isidore Strauss? If, if you're looking for Isidore Strauss, then I imagine you mean Isidore Strauss. He's, yeah, I maybe yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe... Was he an archaeologist? No, he was a businessman. I'm on the phone to him. I'm yelling. You can't hear him. <laughs> I've got one of those little cups. One of those little phone cups. Ask the right like, like one of these ones. 
Um, so does he have like a grave or something that we can visit? Maybe you should maybe you should start with Strauss Park. Okay. Um, does he have any children? Uh, he says, well, you know, I'm I'm part of the family, the extended family, but um, yeah. Jesse Strauss took over Macy's. Okay, thank you. Do you have Jesse Strauss's number? Uh, it says, um, I... I'm not really comfortable giving you giving you out numbers, but I mean, I'm sure you can find him at work. Okay, um, and where's Macy's? <laughs> well, uh, you don't know where Macy's? Ask anybody. <laughs> I only got here an hour ago. I know, but I mean, you just just ask anybody in the street. I'm sure they can point Why you to. Why can you tell me? <laughs> I can. Well, already you a building. Okay, I've been told that before because I went to the Netherlands and they were like, "Oh, don't worry, everyone can speak English, and not everyone can speak English." I'll have you. <laughs> yeah, know. you don't know. Okay, well, he gives you he gives you the street address of Macy's. Oh, thank you very much. I hope we bump into each other one day. Um. Okay. Have a good day. <laughs> you. Thank. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Anyway, guys, so apparently um, Isidore Strauss is like really famous, so um, and he has his own park, so um, that's really funny. <laughs> but okay, uh, he's dead. He's been um, dead for ages. Oh, he's dead. He's he's so dead. But the guy said he gave me the address of his shop, and because um, apparently he owned a shop, and. I don't remember what he said it was called. Um, just some shop. I've got the address. Um, <laughs> don't know. Probably some shit shop. I don't know. And um, so we've got the address of this park as well. So maybe we should go at the park or we could go at the shop. And when I've did he that... die? Did, did you find out when he died? Like ages ago. Okay. Did you ask him? Yeah. How did he die? I don't know. <laughs> I, didn't, I thought it was unfair to ask him how his relative died. Do you not think that's a bit insensitive? Well, you said he was famous. Yeah, but he was also related to Ian. I think if he if he is famous, surely there's a book on him, right? Yeah, yeah I'm just I'm let's just, just going to yeah. go up to a desk. Let's just go and like, let's use your stuff. noodle. Yeah, you <laughs> use the noodle Some that you were blessed time. with. <laughs> anyway, but we also have the address of his yeah, shop and his park. How he died might be important. Mm. Okay, well, I'm not just going to ask his relative. Like, Mate, like have I got to wait? Fine. Hey, I'm going to go ask someone at a desk. Don't ask how he died. <laughs> we have to find out. If he's no one he gives. Died, he if someone you. asked how my family members died, I'd be like, <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you such a grim bastard? Uh, uh, That's uh, why Heather's I was character. Uh, sorry, um, Isabel, what are you doing? I'm going to go up to the desk and I'm going to be like, Right. I need some information on Isaiah Strauss. Isidore. 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 Pick up. Pretty good at <laughs> um, Have you got any information? Is there any documentation? We've heard he was a very fascinating man. Oh, it's the the person that says, "Oh yes, there's there's loads on uh, on Strauss. He was a he was a great man, very well loved." Um, uh, you know, it depends what you're interested in. His his life, his um, his business dealings. Obviously, he, he you know took over Macy's and taken that from strength to strength, as you can see. And um, you know, his tragic death with him and his wife. It's all um, I don't know. What it depends what you're interested in. Death. Tragedy. Uh, you're yeah. you're interested in death. I'm um, I'm very interested in uh, his sort of legacy. What what he's left behind. So if we can start with the death bit, that would be really good. Uh, okay, well, there's a lot of a lot of information about the Titanic and a lot of news articles and stuff like that. So maybe you, you want to start reading there. Okay, Titanic. Oh, I, I, I didn't realize he Titanic. Yeah, no, that's that's. Oh yeah, the guy said he went on the Titanic. Oh, oh my god! I didn't know stop. if he got off fine or whatever. Can someone just take take you away? <laughs> <laughs> it it. it... Is I'm there... the one who gets shit done. Are Maybe you? Because we dinner. just had to go and do what you should have just found out, but you didn't want to tell us. I just didn't want to be insensitive, that's all. Right, okay. Well, you're being insensitive so... to us. <laughs> Carry on, Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask the guy, is there somewhere specific for 
these books? Like, is there is there a, a sort of book that's got a lot of this information in it, or is it just sort of lots of little I mean, articles here and there? I mean, or? I mean, well, I mean, the Titanic's a pretty broad subject. There's there's a lot of news articles at the time about what happened, about all the inquests and all that kind of stuff. But also, there's you know books on the White Star Lines and all that kind of stuff. You know, there's quite a, quite a wealth of information about um, about about the Titanic and what led to it and what led to you know um, is it also timely death? I mean. Uh, I, mean, if, I mean, to be honest, everyone knows a lot. So you could just ask any, anybody who knows a little bit about New York. I'm sure they could tell you um, stories of um, uh, how brave Isidore and his wife were when um, when it came when it came to the sinking. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, um, but, uh, she, uh, the, yeah. the guy, the guy in trucks is quite. He's, 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 he's somebody who works at library. He's very interested in in New York history and culture, and so has a lot to say. And he says, um, he says apparently, um, you know, he's um, his wife refused to get on the lifeboat without without him, and he refused, and uh, they even offered to let him on, but he wouldn't do it with them with until all the women and children were off. So they um, stayed on board together. Very noble. Mm -hmm. Very very noble. Um, as a total sidebar. The scene in Cameron, James Cameron Titanic's where you see the old couple in the in the the thing with the water coming up over them, that's Isidore and Ida Strauss. Uh, surely they were dead long before the Titanic was made, like James Cameron's Titanic. So how could that have been them? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a fair point. Good point. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Thanks, Becca. Someone appreciates me. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a, for a reply about that. About what? Sorry. Well, how are you going to explain that? <laughs> no, I'm, not going to explain that. <laughs> I'm just going to hang up the call and forget we ever tried to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas, parents. Show some compassion. It's Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> I want to get my tree and my trees over there. Go get it, go it's get fine. it. It's It's always there. We, we can there. see it. It's fine. Oh, see my little tree? It's very cute. Super quietly. Right, so, like... Now I've got a rough idea of okay. who he is. What? No, look, there's a Pusheen. Christmas Pusheen. Yeah. I've, I've, I've got a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas pig? I've got a can of iron brew. Hey, oh, me yeah. too. Wait, very wait, wait. Very you know festive. the umbrella I stole? Yeah. yeah. God. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's not a very practical umbrella. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, um, should, since we know now loads about this guy, do you think that it is possible that the stone tablet is in where the Titanic is under the ocean. If it is, then fuck that. I hope not. I'm hoping maybe if I can have a look through some stuff, I can find out if he's got like a collection of stuff held somewhere, like a, a sort of mini museum kind of collection. Maybe. If Sounds it, like a good shout. If it's on the Titanic, it's gone. If it's on the Titanic, <laughs> then it's fine. We live in New no, York. No, then. no, no, no. At the end of. The Titanic, then they go down to the ocean and get Rose's necklace, so we could probably... Just so you know, that's like a major fast forward. I know, but like... <laughs> yeah, that's what they no. do. No. Time travel? No. In this day and age, it's gone. <laughs> okay. Just an idea. <laughs> Bad idea. Okay, well. You didn't take I'm good at making things. I could make something. No, you shouldn't. Oh, do you think if we started getting into the business of fake relics, that would be more profitable for us? <laughs> I know, like, maybe. I, I, I'm, I'd be curious how well that would go down with the mistress if you started trying to fob off fake versions of the things she sends you after. <laughs> like, she's never met, so <laughs> how would she know? To be fair, she was quite happy with that music box that we gave her, and that was probably True. covered in and if she If she finds out, I'll just send her an apology <laughs> cookie, and everything will be fine. <laughs> Oh, wow. We'll send her some pants. She likes pants. We can send her that bra from before. Just yeah. go back and get it again. I only worked my magic once. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. Right, cool. Now. So, okay, do your job then, brain head. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, I said brain head. Oh, that's not me. Yeah. <laughs> your muscle head. <laughs> 
Right, so... And his finger head. Because you've got a good finger. <laughs> Show us your fingers at me. They're not good. She's still, only, she's still three quarters green anyway, so... Green. sake. <laughs> Next time we do this, we're going to use something other than Skype. Yeah, good. Mm. <clears throat> Means I'm wearing this stupid hat for nothing. We can see a bit of it. We can see we can see the white bit on it. Yeah, we can see like the top. Yeah, the with the bit where the black box is. That'll where be mostly what it is, right? Um, that's right, a... so, so what, where are we going now? What are we doing? Uh, I want to see if I can find like from what I've just been told, like if there's any kind of really obvious books that would be there, really obvious bits of information about like any kind of ties to relics. Or like sort of valuable pieces, that wanna, sort of thing. Do you want to just give me a library roll and let's see what information you do get out of um, the library? Yeah, that'll do. Ooh. Nicely done. What have I found? Okay, so um, you find out that um, he used to live in a house. Well, sorry, I'm gonna find the location of it. He used to live in a house um, uh, by what is now. Um, sorry. Uh, by what is now Strauss Park, but the house where he, he lived with his wife has now been demolished and replaced with a new building called the Claiborne Building. Um, Shocking. Um, but yeah, the um, but so his actual home is gone, and as I say, but a, a small a small park was erected with a statue in his honour. Um, mm. So uh, you don't find any particular links to him and archaeology. Nothing, nothing um, public anyway. Okay. Nothing to do with, like, an enthusiasm? No, mostly there's just a lot of um, respect for his business dealings, um, but then in his, I guess in his final years, not, not people weren't paying a huge amount of attention, but they noticed that he was travelling a lot more, um, but, there was no, but there, was no, there was no conclusions and no particular evidence of any anything one way or the other. Okay. But mostly hmm. it's just a lot of people um, writing well... biographies about his, you know, um, rise, to, rise to prominence as a very... Um, shrewd um, uh, and kind business leader. This guy sounds way too good to be true. He is too nice. Okay. Basically, maybe the stone makes everyone think you're nice. <laughs> Perhaps. Just... <laughs> no, but... Everything that we've got here is just kind of the same thing. When you beat someone up, they'll just think whatever you tell them to think. Um. <laughs> It's one way to do things. The only way to do things. I don't think, I don't think we're going to get anything else from here besides like more praising. Yeah, if, if anything, etc. Like I can't find anything to do with this. Bit. If anything, what makes it more difficult than other investigations and heists you've done is that there's an overwhelming amount of information about him because of you know he's quite a prominent figure in, um, in both New York history but also in the tragedy of the Titanic sinking. So. We should probably just ask some people. But everyone will know the same stuff. We need to get more specific. I mean, at a certain specific place this evening. Like the shop? No, the. the, the oh, yeah, we should go to his shop. <laughs> but yeah, we can go to his shop and we can go to the park Man, and see. If there are so many places there. we could go. Yeah? Yeah, well, we could, we could go to the bar. We could... It's a bit early. Okay. Is it? Mm, some would say. Oh, Perhaps see, not me. Did you see or he me. had a park? Yeah, oh, a... yeah, he's got a park. Yeah. Maybe Should we, we go, to the, park? go to the park? Because if he's got a relic, it's going to be in a park. What, what conclusion did you make to jump to get there? Like They have, like... What logic? Like, well, let me speak. They have statues and shit. Yes. They might have it in the shop. It's more likely like to on be a display where it's like our great Strauss. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go to the park. Well, no, we can go to the park first. Then we can go to the shop if we find nothing in the park. We've got time to kill. Yeah. People. Let's go. Yeah, I mean the bar's not gonna open for a while yet. <laughs> Fucking America! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't even why get a drink they, during wait, the day. If they, don't, if they don't have alcohol, why do they even have a bar? It's not. It's a secret bar. It's a speakeasy. They're secret bars. Oh. 
Yeah, they're like underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like at home where you can just drink all day <laughs> in a pub. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, New York City during uh, Prohibition probably had more alcohol than it did before. Basically, it kind of um, made it made it a thriving thing. Um, mm-hmm. the, um, anyway, so you guys head over to uh, the Strauss Park, which is actually a pretty small triangular strip of land between Broadway and West Avenue. Um, it's, nice. kind of, it's like, a, as I say, it's a relatively small park. Not um, um, This sort of green green strip of land is lined with trees on either side. Um, and it's mostly built up around this big rectangular pond in the center, um, which above this pond sits this statue with um, the statue, which is of a nymph, a nymph light laying down with her hand reaching into a basin of water. And there's a little um, and there's a um, a little uh, plaque over um, on on the statue um, that says, um, "Lovely and pleasant they were in their lives, and in and in their death they were not divided." Um, and it's uh, dedicated to Ida and Isidore Strauss. Um, and there is a young woman um, in a um, bright suit, sort of sitting um, on, well, sitting on the statue, kind of inappropriately, not not like sexually, but more like she disrespectfully. Get her off. Go talk to her. I'm not gonna. Thank you, bro. I guess we should go over and just like, but we'll not say anything. We'll just look at her. <laughs> okay, like this. Like... I'm gonna stand at a distance, <laughs> but still judging. Yeah. Okay. Well, she looks out. She looks over at um, you four and sort of smiles and waves. Do you know her? Is this one of the people you chatted up on the boat? Uh, you don't recognise her. Freddie, did you punch this person? I don't remember. You don't recognise her. There was a lot of drink involved on the boat. <laughs> Can I ascertain anything about her by looking at her? Um, her outfit would lead you to think probably mob connections. Ooh. Okay, so we should be nice to her. <laughs> More reason to punch her. <laughs> so mum, just hold Freddy back. I guess I'm going to go over to her and like I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go over to it and kind of offer my hand as if to like shake it and go, uh, hello there, we're the crew, you must be <laughs> She must be says, Oh well I'm Dahlia. Um please a pleasure Dahlia, to, pl- pleasure to uh, pleasure to meet you. Have we are you expecting me? Dahlia's a uh, suspicious name. Uh yes, yes, we were told you'd be waiting here for us. <laughs> Does... Why? <laughs> I'm t- I <laughs> She's gonna Oh be god. I'm, I'm, I, I, like, I am just, yeah, okay. yeah. Just... So that's interesting. Um, who sent you, who sent you to, to meet me? Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> Nick. Have we oh, still got the leg in the Christmas tree? Yeah, I've got this. <laughs> Holding it like a yeah. baby. You've still got the leg in the Christmas tree. She says, um. My goodness. She says, "I'll admit, I was waiting to, I was waiting to meet you, four ladies, but I didn't, uh, I didn't know you would be uh, expecting me." So. Well, you know, we are a, you know, our reputation precedes us. Clearly, we are a very well, oh, well clued up crew. We know what's going on. We got so what, what, it's what, great. It's great. What kind what of crew are well you? Suspicious. Just a crew of girls. Just superstitious, even. Just totally, totally legal witches. <laughs> legal. <Nope. laughs> yeah. We don't do anything illegal. Right. Okay. Um, she says I can't can't say I share the same predilection. Yeah. Well, I mean that's what we have to say, isn't it? Like, you know, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm not a judge. <laughs> yeah, I know that was the joke. Like, that's what we'd say. She, like, she looks a little blankly at you. I guess it's just um, different they don't humor. Guess okay. Sorry. <laughs> Let's start again. Lovely to meet you. How can we help? Because that, that that was that was kind of my line. You see, I always like to introduce myself to um, new and interesting people in uh, in uh, in on my land. Oh, you know, you land great. It's really nice. Do you grow? Is like... this whole park yours? Do you like do the gardening and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep moving further backwards if that's alright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Garden. Like the only gardening she's doing is probably like burying people in this park. <laughs> so, like when you say this turf, did you like turf this all yourself? <laughs> I meant it's really lovely. Practice. It's really lovely. I meant more welcome to America, not welcome to this park. You own uh, America? America? I don't. I don't own. <sighs> she says America. I consider it my 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 home. 
and I'm always I'm always interested to see the 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 more interesting people who come to to visit. Okay, well, we're very happy to be here. America's very strange, but I'm sure we'll enjoy it here. You seem to be fitting into that strangeness quite well. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Push your finger down, fire. <laughs> She says, "So, so, who, so what? So what are you doing? Um, what are you doing in 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 my in my lands? Just uh, get girl stuff, sightseeing, shopping, shoplifting, shop, no shopping. <laughs> Ready? Can I try and charm her? Uh, yeah, you sure can give it a go. Okay. Um." Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we're just having a really great time here, you know, it'd be really, uh, it's really lovely to meet you, you know, everyone here is so fantastic, it's, you know, America's a really interesting place, and, uh, you know, it's, it, we, we really appreciate, you know, you've come this way to introduce yourself and, you know, meet us and stuff, it's it's just su such a nice thing, you know, just try to lay on thick and okay, okay. Do, do the thing. <sighs> Pray for me. That is... Where's my charm? Oh, that's way less than my charm. What's your charm? 70. Okay. Um, she, she's... Way less. <laughs> en enough. Um, so she, 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 she sort of jumps down at the statue and sort of gives you a big hug and is like... Oh, I give her a hug as well. <laughs> so, so... Pickpocket her. Wait, can I make sure she's not pickpocketing me? Uh... I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. You, well, I mean, she, 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 you got the rest of the crew. I've got her all quite eagle eyes. You keep an eye out for her pockets and stuff. Um, oh, right. um, oh. She says, so, so what's your names? You haven't, you haven't introduced yourselves yet. I thought she already knew our names. No, she, 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 she says, oh, no, I, I just knew you. I just, I just heard of some, there was um, four interesting ladies wandering the streets, and I just wanted to know, um, I know what, what, what you were looking for and if I could be of any assistance in helping you achieve your goals. My name's okay. Arthur. My name's yep. Lola. Lola what? Lola. Lola. And this is... Isabel. Yep. Um, and I'm Robin. So... <laughs> Hi, Robin. <laughs> she, she smiles... She smiles at Isabel. And then she turns back to you and frowns. And says that wasn't necessary. You said you didn't know. You said you didn't know who we were. Know, we were just I, testing you. And I, we I guess I, I, I still don't. I just know when I'm being lied to. Oh fuck! <laughs> I don't believe that. I think you know exactly who we are. Um, no, I you're just. just I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be cheeky. I'm gonna be like, and you're just playing. <laughs> you're just playing with it. She okay. Her face darkens now, um, and she sort of steps back a few steps. Says, and I was hoping this could be a pleasant encounter. <laughs> It still could be. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, <laughs> you said um, fast talk is... Christmas tree! Oh yeah, here we go, it's Christmas tree! <laughs> we got this for you! Does anyone have, like, psychology or anything? Do any of you guys have psychology or something? I do. Can you, like, psychoanalyze her and see how dangerous she is? I want to try to figure out what she's thinking. Okay. Because obviously she likes me. What? So. You know how I've got disguise but... skill? Does that mean I'd be good at lying? No. Um, that, that ain't, that fast, ain't good. fast talk is lying. <laughs> oh, I've got fast talk. Yeah. Um, so oh, so Isabel, Isabel tries to work out what's going on with, um, with Dahlia, but... Um, you can't read her at all. None of her mannerisms kind of make sense. Um, so it's kind of like a blank, like not a blank slate. Like it's like you're like it's like you're being stonewalled from reading her kind of what's going on with her. Okay. Well, I'm not going to relay that to anyone else anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, internal screaming. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just thinking about that video where it was like people want to hurt you and it's like um, can I can I pipe up and be like where we come from it's polite to introduce yourself she already did introduce herself oh, her name's probably. Dahlia she said Dahlia name... but who is she that's enough though right she only asked her her name you got she, what? Says, oh, she says well uh, she says I'm um 
a fixer of sorts. I help people achieve things they tr they want to achieve. You seemed like four people in need of some guidance, and I thought I could help. Um, so maybe we got off on the wrong on, on the wrong foot here. Why are our names so important to you? I appreciate honesty. I don't need to know your names. I just didn't like that you lied to me. I think um, you know personal information like that is. Uh... Unnecessary you know, in our line of work. Yeah, and what, you know, and what, respect and... what is your line of work? This is also an unnecessary question. Regardless of our line of work, respect and trust is earned. Well, so... I, I came here to help you, and all I asked for was some tr a little bit of trust in return. Basically, um, she said she that's, came that's, that's how we die. Right I'm getting more and more like convinced that like this is voodoo shit, and I don't <laughs> want to give him my real name. <laughs> This, we, the, you have to earn the trust, so for now, take Barbara, and maybe Barbara will develop into someone else. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, I'm Barbara. I'm just... See, this is the thing with our crew. We can be whoever we... you want us to be. You know, we don't, we're not tied down by names, we're not tied down by places, we're not tied down by ages. I, myself, am 21 years old. Uh, you know... <laughs> We're all, we're all fluid <laughs> beings who are who we need to be at the time we need to be them. So I think sticking to something as arbitrary as a name that somebody else gave you, like when you weren't even a person, is just stupid. So I think let's just carry on. Like she says, can I use that as my fast talk? Yeah, can yeah, I, like, sure, roll, sure. Roll fast talk with that. <laughs> <sighs> God, the dice help us all. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did okay, but. I liked your fast talk, it was good. Oh, my fast talk is 60, I think. Okay. Depends how perceptive she is. She says, she says like, okay, okay, there's no need to panic. She says, who's panicking? I'm fucking cool, I played it cool. I'm like James Bond right now. Uh, she says, she says, obviously, strangers in a strange land. I understand that um, mistakes are made and cultural you know, customs are not necessarily understood and adhered to. I'm... I am not the law. I'm not here to. I'm not here to get you into any trouble. If anything, if you if you ladies are looking for trouble, I'm happy to help. It says all I need to know is why you're here and what you're looking for, and I will do my best to help you help that you achieve that. Why? Because that's what I do. I'm a fixer. I help. I help people. Um, What's the fee? Do you have a Do you have a card? I I don't generally need a card. People know who I am and where to find me. Okay. Let me tell you, we really appreciate the gesture, you coming out here today, introducing yourself, give, let, giving us the lowdown, you know, if we need you, we'll find you. Okay, well. Uh, mm. And then let, I'm just going to walk no, away. No, no, you guys can walk away. I'm just going to turn to and be like, right, okay. <laughs> you know why we're here. No, <laughs> why we're here. No, we're walking away. So they, they, they grab you, Isabel. Are you going to resist or let them grab you? I'm going to resist. Right, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> right, Freddy, can you do a strength roll against... Is um, and can is uh, Isabel do a strength roll as well? Die. Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you get dodgy. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm 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 taking I'm guessing there that your strength is not um is not seventy, um uh, Isabel. No. Nope. Nope. Um, so Freddie manages to, to to restrain you and drag you drag you away. I let her go. Sorry? I let her go. You can do whatever you no! like. We're taking her with us! Freddie! <laughs> <laughs> to make enemies of people like this. I'm just gonna wait while she's got a hold of him. Come on, Freddie, let's get out of here. She she's obviously not gonna fight you. She's not she's not any good. We'll go find someone better. Someone better? Yeah, someone better. <laughs> I've always wanted to fight Santa. <laughs> let's go find fucking there Santa is, and fuck him up. Okay. Right, okay. okay. We'll bring her with us. Right. But just as me. Yeah, you're coming. Bring you with us. You can Isabel. bring Polly with you as well. Should we bring no. her? 
We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Let's just like usher Freddy out now. We should with Isabel. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, she. Um, I really think we should have taken some sort of card. As you, as you, as you move away, um, in the distance, you can see Dahlia sort of gives a slight bow and a wave, and then walks away in the opposite oh. direction. I feel like that was the Thanks. best thing we could have done. No. Did you not remember the message? People are out to kill us. Yeah, but what if we infuriate the people out to kill us? By oh, are you trying to kill us? How much further do escalate? How much further do you expect this to escalate than people it's wanting to try and kill us? Wait, if she's with the mob and we just pissed her off. The more angry they are, the funner the fight is. You. So, I um, feel like me... And Louise are on the same page here. That was definitely not a situation we wanted to be involved in. But I'm pretty sure by the sounds of it, she can probably find us if she needs to. Um, and we can probably find her. She we've got... just break our legs. legs. Thanks. <laughs> no, we've got Freddy. They won't touch us. We don't need them anyway. Freddy beat up everybody on that boat. Well, what, what, if we get, what if we get the speakeasy and she just stood there like... Hmm. Well, then... That's what happens. We didn't do anything rude. Um. We really didn't. Like, I only swear to her. Like, Americans like, don't understand rude, the concept of, like, rudeness or politeness anyway, so I don't think that she wouldn't understand even if we did something rude. We'd have to do um, something bad to, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, even. So are we right. Going to go to the King? Shop? Yeah, should we go we to the, the shop? shop? Yeah. Can I be put down? Put down. Can you can you be trusted? Well, yeah. Like an animal. Like, no. <laughs> no, they cannot be trusted. Yes, we'll put Isabel down. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should have as many people in our pe people people in our party as possible. <laughs> yeah, I could be useful. I got us this far. Did. Did you? I think it was Ian that got us this far. Uh, no, it wasn't. I'm the one who found out about the park. I'm the one who read the book things. I'm the one who asked the dude the actual important questions and found out where we're going. Ian Strauss told us everything. Let's we go need. to the shop. But then you didn't. <laughs> Let's just go. Okay. Have jelly beans been invented? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> jelly beans. I Is that an important question right now? I feel yeah. so. I keep having to Google like things in the nineteen twenties <laughs> to find out if they exist. Yeah, uh, I guess they did. Brilliant. The better one of those machines right. where it's all like the twisted. Oh things. yeah. We can just put our heads in colours. Uh, I was thinking more a bag, but you can if you want. Head works too. Mm. Yeah. Whatever you eat, they can't. They can't weigh it afterwards. Jelly beans actually in this era is slang for a young man who dressed stylishly to attract women, but had little else to recommend him. <laughs> wow. I know a lot of people <laughs> like that. Uh, uh, okay. Let's not pick up jelly beans. <laughs> it sounds like they'd be really easy to pick up. So. Too bad. Let's get us some jelly beans. But do you want to, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah, but there'd be no 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 attachments. When once we leave America, we can just leave them behind. Like, it wasn't that. Do they come in different flavors still? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was that was that was a double layered <laughs> question. <laughs> they come in any flavor you want. Um. So Macy's, yeah. So are we are we are we are we there? Okay, so you guys head over to Macy's. Um, Macy's is we obviously one of the biggest um, department stores in the world, even in this period. Oh. Uh, it's nice. It's small. He hmm? said it was a shop. It didn't say how big it was. That's a big shop. It's a huge building, and you can see um, construction work as they're extending into the buildings behind it, slowly taking over the entire block, basically. Oh my God. Nice. He did this. Dude, we're looking at Santa. What? He did this. Are you drinking? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm just. He did this. <laughs> Socially awkward. <laughs> Leave me be. 
<laughs> you're you're like that this. scene of um that uh, guy on Lemmy's show um who like starts saying stuff that he's been thinking in his head for ages. You know, um, going to Yorker. <laughs> no one's getting that. No one's getting that <laughs> reference. Okay. <laughs> I, I, think I can't. I can't even believe I'm actually going to Yorker. <laughs> so let's go in the shop. Okay, so you go into the street floor of Macy's. It feels like it feels endless, although you know it can't possibly be. It's like this endless chamber of retail. You know, like oh, the scene in Lord of the Rings where they go down to the mine and there's all the stone no, columns that's going. Not been, that's not a thing, is it? It's 1920. <laughs> Endless stone columns, like that mine, the mines of Moria, except with shopping in it. Uh, that's kind of literally what this this place is. Like it's these huge octagonal uh, marble columns that go like up into the up uh, up high above you, and they just run all the way down. And that's where all the goblins come down from. Did they have the wooden escalators in 1920? They did. They already had those. Yeah. So. Uh, I love them. So yeah, so the, uh, these columns um, in front of them is like rows and rows of these waist-high um, uh, counters, um, but the counters are you know very uniform in their aesthetic. But the glass cases and the shelves contain all manner of high-end consumer goods. Wooden escalators at the sides lead upwards um, to higher floors and down towards the basement. Nice. Um, the place is absolutely rammed full of um, uh, of, of people. Is there anything that we can see when we walk in where it's like? Trying to <laughs> uh, anything mentioned in his name, you know, there's like a plaque sometimes. And there is actually, like a, there is actually, cabinet full of shit. If, if you ask anybody, they'll tell you there is a plaque to um Isidore Strauss on the shop floor. Oh, should we go look at the plaque? Let's go find it. Oh, I, yeah, I forgot to write up information on the plaque. Tell You're just me. googling it. Yeah. That is important. It's not important. This is quality GMing. I know, I know. <laughs> look at that, literally, no point. And also, I'm having problems with my laptop where the two keys that aren't working are S and D at the moment very well, and they're the, one, they're the ones I need to type Isidore. <laughs> <laughs> so. There is a, yeah, so this is basically, a, a, I don't know what material it is, but it's like a metal a metal plaque um, that's like, for, it says Ida Strauss and Isidore Strauss, and like has circular pictures of, um, of each of them. Um, died April 15th, 1912. Their lives were beautiful and their deaths glorious. Didn't they just drown? That's not that glorious. Tablet is the voluntary token of sorrowing employees. God, yes. That's depressing. Yeah, the employees of Macy's paid to have it have it made in, in his honor, in their honor. Nice. Uh, they were very light. They were very light. Yeah. Hmm. Highly suspicious. No one likes their boss, right? I should say I wouldn't. I wouldn't look for me. I wouldn't look for me like playing up there being nice as a as a double thing. It's because they're real people, so I'm not going to be like. But act secretly, they were child molesters. You know. <laughs> Dude, come on! Wow. I'm, I'm, no I'm need for that. Like Eder and Isidore Strauss serial diddlers. It's not going to be like. <laughs> I'm more trying to present. People. That's my point. They're real people, so that's why I'm saying that they were like they were. They weren't. They weren't evil people. They were good people. So Did they have thing? Okay. You can type it into Google and you can see it. No, oh, yeah. there's pictures on the plaque. Did he have a beard? I'm looking at it. He, he did have yeah, a beard. He, he, he clearly beard. had a beard in the plaque. Well, okay, I was, I was just asking. What? Clearly has a beard. <laughs> you can see the beard. Just asking. Ask him, ask a member of staff. <laughs> Excuse me. Ask one of the goblins. <laughs> Did he really have a beard? <laughs> uh, you ask a member of staff if Isidore Strauss really had a beard, and uh, a, the, a woman who's like looking after necklaces um, looks at you a bit like confused, like, "Yes." Did you it see was... it for you, with your own eyes? Okay. Said, oh, well, my Why are we asking this? Says my mum brought me into the shop when I was a kid, and and you know I'm, I'm I, I saw him wandering around, and he he had a very big bushy beard. Great. See, I think I need a phrase Miss with Miss Busted. <laughs> this is with Taru. Thank you for your help. Good to know. Okay, no problem. Enjoy. Um, is there anything I can help you with? No. Uh, uh, I help, but nothing you can give us. With my um, with, with my store? we can get you anything. With my stealing eyes, do I feel like this would be easy to steal from, or would it be too difficult oh, to steal? Oh wait, 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 wait! I want a tiger. 
You want a ti- you want a tiger? Okay. Um, yeah. she, sa- she says there's stuffed toys upstairs if that's what you're looking for. No, 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 no I want the real thing. Uh, <laughs> she says we're not we're not. We're I not... know you can do this for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe somebody could specially order something, but it's not really something that Macy stocks. Uh, that's not true. I heard I could get anything here. Well, we can get you a tiger, just not a living one. No, I want a living one. <laughs> Why would I want a dead one? <laughs> they make good rugs. She does have a point. They make good rugs. She does have a point. They make good rugs. No, I don't want to. How? You're a fucking monster. <laughs> You're a monster. Your history is the greatest monster. In here. I want it alive and well. You're making enemies of us. And happy. <laughs> These I'm people thinking... are nice people. Um, Can we look at just... his face on that plaque. He would be horrified right now. The, count, the counter lady says, "Oh, I'm sorry. I think they uh, they need me back at the counter. So um, good no, luck." No, they like... don't. Good, good luck. Good luck. satisfaction. Where's my tiger? She Does that mean I can really? try and steal something from the counter. <laughs> oh god, no, let's are... not steal from these people. They're nice. They're dead. <laughs> they didn't get me a tiger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they don't need the money anymore. Are there any other employees? There's there's hundreds and hundreds of them. I'm gonna go to the next one. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so what time is it? Doing. What time is it? What time the woman, is it? The woman, the, the woman replies to you, and there's, a, there's stuffed toys upstairs if you need a tiger. I want a stuffed toy, I want a real tiger. <laughs> How are we going to get that home? England to get what time is it? It's probably about, probably about 4 p.m. Is it time for the speakeasy to open? A speakeasy will open in the next um, couple of hours. But well, we don't know. Like, good, like. Sorry, I'm not. Who's this em- What's this employee doing? Who's running this shop? Why are they um, ignoring me? The this 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 the, the, the story is being run by Jesse Strauss. Would you? I mean, um, if you have a problem, then we'd, we'd like to talk to Jesse Strauss about the tiger issue, please. Um, I oh Jesus! Um, I was told I could get a tiger. Can we talk to the manager, please? Yeah, you are. Also, please remember that we look like really posh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're we still all dressed up. Manager, my child wants a tiger. I would like to talk to the manager, please. <laughs> um, uh, so a um, a man in a suit comes over and says, um, "Ladies, would you, if you'd like to speak to Mr. Mr. Strauss, um, um, if you'll accompany me downstairs, he's just doing a um, a um, a, a floor a floor walk of the um, of our basement floor. If you'd like to meet him." Wait, why would you yep, we'll be taking customers into the basement? Uh, it's a shop. It's, it's a floor. It's a shopping floor. It's the basement. Shopping centers have basements. Yeah, but they like a the lower ground. I've, yeah, I've been there, but they don't call it the basement. Okay, um, we're going to the lower ground. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> I mean, at least now they call it lower level and basement, I believe. Um, but I don't know what they called it in the 20s. Let's go, get Let's go to the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, it's all this changed. This is probably where we're going to die. <laughs> no, um, so the, um, the the man escorts you to um, uh, a wooden escalator, which leads down to the basement floor. Um, again, it's like, it's not as high and grand as the floor above, but there is still, you know, like, you know, just rows and rows of counters leading off into the distance. Hundreds of skeletons of dead dwarves. Dead <laughs> <laughs> tigers. Still no tigers. Hello. What oh, a tiger. Okay. Where's, where's boss man? Um, give me two seconds. By Maybe the way. if we're meeting him, we should ask him about the stone tablet as well. I mean, that's kind it of the it. whole point of me being here. I don't know if you've noticed that. Pardon? That's the entire point. Yeah. Oh yeah, I totally knew that. I totally knew that you yeah. didn't really want a tiger. This was my, the whole. It's my bargaining chip when I don't get the tiger. Okay. This is gonna so really you, well. you, so anyway, so he um he qu- if so... I get a tiger. So anyway, as you as you head down to the the basement, there's lo- there's loads of counters, um, and um, Mr. And, and 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 an older gentleman with a beard comes over to um to see what the commotion is. He says, uh, "Good afternoon, ladies. I'm uh, I'm Jesse Strauss. Um, I'm uh, in charge of uh, in charge of the store. How can um, I heard there's a, a bit of a bit of a problem. How can I help you?" Hi. Yeah, I was told I could get a tiger from here, and I've travelled all the way by boat from the UK to get this tiger, and I've just been told upstairs you can't get me a tiger. So we're not really a pet store or a zoo, but and I could probably give you the address of a place where you could go buy a ti- buy a tiger. I mean, it's not it's not really legitimate. I have Macy's points. I wanted that to seems, come here. Shush, shush, shush. That what? sounds really no, funny. Me? That sounds very reasonable. We don't really have a points card at the moment. Yes, you do. Don't tell me what I don't have. 
So, um, just ignoring this, um, <laughs> I was just wondering as, as well if you, um, if you, if you uh, dealt in antiquities in this department store. Oh yeah, uh, we have um, we have some homeware sections. I mean, it's not we don't. I mean, there's some very nice some very nice pieces, but obviously, like we don't you know we don't sell you know actual historical mm -hmm. relics or anything like that. Yeah, just I mean, I'm I'm trying to find a place where I can get something a little more genuine, you know, a little more some, some like a, a little piece of history, maybe. You know, do you are you aware of any places around here that have that kind of things, like you know, stone tablets and things like that? Um, or a tiger. Maybe. Maybe I mean I think maybe both your tiger and and if you're looking for actual rec maybe Chinatown would be the kind of place you would um, you'd be you'd, you'd head to I I don't I don't That's racist I don't want a China Chinese tiger <laughs> I don't come from China um sounds fake <laughs> he says, I'm, he says I'm, I'd like to accommodate you ladies but you know we're we're a shop of commerce of consumer goods um. And you know, um, there's, we we sell many wonderful items, especially this this time of year. We we do our best to accommodate in whatever ways we can, but but at live animals and historical relics are not um, good, are not packaged goods in the way that you know that we that Macy's represents. Does your family have any um, you know uh, links to uh, heirlooms or like um, you know historical like things that you may keep in like a museum or something like that? Oh uh, well, is you know my father is a door. He did have um he had you know he had he had his own collection. Um, we we, we is we that don't... a private collection or is that like a public collection we, as well? We, we donated we donated some some of the works from the house when before it was um torn down to the to the local um galleries. Um, but you know, um obviously obviously much of it was his own personal effects, which have you know we keep in storage still, obviously in you know in in uh, reverence for him. Okay, interesting. Um. Is that not some an interest that you carry on? Oh uh, no, I I mean I, I he, he didn't eat to be fair even in his life. I I was never I was never sure um how how keen into that side that thing that sort of stuff he was. I mean he had he had a few items but he never liked to talk about it. Never never mentioned it much um much of his much of his work, you know, much of his um uh, interest from later in life seemed like diversions. I think I felt like he'd achieved everything he wanted to with Macy's, but I've, I've, I feel like I've taken on that legacy and carried on and tried to grow um, beyond even what he could have possibly imagined for this store. And I'm really proud of what we've done, and, and I owe a lot of that to him and, to, and you know, to obviously to Macy before him. I think that he would be very proud of you. Yeah, I'd like Harrods to could have gotten me a tiger. Anyway, we don't care about tigers, so. And that's in the UK. She's well, very special. She says, um, I've, I've visited Harrods. It's a wonderful store. Yeah, I but they can get me a tiger. I never saw live animals. She's there. she's very special. Harrods, so um, we're just going to, we're just trying to show her around. She thinks That's that this thing, is a, a so. legit thing. Um, by the way, Emmy, your mic's a bit um, quiet still. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, thank you so much for your time today we really really appreciate it and thank you for showing our special little one some yeah. nice t care and attention she's she's been really enjoying new york and um you know well, sometimes we just have to let her run, we just have to let her run away with her imagination you know you you must understand how it is she's getting confused you can buy tigers from harrods yeah, so we'd let her have a little imagination play, and um, we'll be taking her. That's a, not even a thing. Now. This was an actual thing. <laughs> anyway, um... unreal. I can get it in the UK, but I can't get it in New York. Let, let, let's let's go back upstairs and have a look at some stuff. I want a tiger. No. Okay. Wish Thank you for your time. Let's Thank go. You. Well, let's pleasure go to meet to you, me. ladies. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Not a pleasure let's, to meet let's you. Let's go, sweetie. Let's go. <laughs> Get your hands off me. Don't touch me. <laughs> Where did he say I could get the tiger from? Let's go there. He gave you... No. He, gave he, you, he, he basically said maybe visit Ti Chinatown. We're going to oh, Chinatown. It'll, it'll be plastic and imported and not real. No, no, but, but he said that they might have some relic -y stuff. It doesn't matter about the tiger. You said We're it's going to Chinatown. The relic will be fake as well. We're going to I feel Chinatown. Like we're running out of time. Maybe we should like go now. Nah, nah. Oh, go to Chinatown. Should we go to Chinatown? Yeah.
why don't we go to Chinatown, see if anyone dodgy's about, <laughs> ask some questions, <laughs> then go to the speakeasy. They might know where the, the thing's gone if we're going into an antiquity yeah, store. Yeah, I bet we can, I bet we can find all the suspicious like, stuff in, in antiquity yeah. stores. I agree, yeah. yeah. And then once we've looked around there, we yeah. can go back to the speakeasy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I said like five minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> so you guys make your way across town to Chinatown. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, once you arrive, um, pretty much street vendors set themselves upon you. They see you, you look wealthy, um, and they they're constant. They're they're immediately rushing at you, trying to sell you food we and knickknacks. Change clothes. Nah. We'll uh, need this for tonight. Targeted. Can Doesn't we just matter. get them? If we deck one person, won't the rest of them leave us alone? Don't don't deck them. Just walk past them. Okay? I'm keeping every th- an eye on literally everything in case anyone's going to try and fucking fleece me because I am literally going to... Because that's what you would do. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I would do. And I will fucking throttle anyone who tries to put their fingers or knives near my purse or pockets. Can I buy hot Does it- anyone try? Does anyone try? Uh, no. Um, because... Damn it. I was kind of... Hoping that if someone tried, that I would try and steal from them, and then they they'd look and they'd empty, and I'd be like, haha. So, <laughs> the, the the sort of low level street vendors are trying to just see if they can get a bit of cash out of you, but you can see yeah. the more suspicious guys sort of standing in doorways, sort of keeping an eye on you guys, on you folks. That's fine. Let them keep an eye. If they come near me, I've got my fucking switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any kind of little antique looking shops around? There's quite a few. Like, um, really obvious. There's quite a few. There's like, you know, there's, there's loads of places that sell kind of knickknacks and weird, all sorts of different things mm. and stuff. Can we go in the most suspicious looking shop? Yeah. Okay, you find, like, down down a side alley, you find, like, something that looks like the shop from Gremlins. Uh, that's exactly <laughs> what we're looking for. <laughs> Let's get in there. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you might get Grammy. <laughs> like, yeah. We're all getting closer to the tiger. <laughs> so you go inside. Oh, and... Okay, let's go. <laughs> so you go inside and um, uh, and uh, you know there's kind of crap piled everywhere, all sorts of weird things, old things, new things. There's kind of no discernible kind of structure or order to all the things, but there's just enough space left for you to walk around and get towards a counter where an old man sort of sits, um, sort of listening to the radio. Is he Chinese? Is he Chinese? Is he, is he, is he, fucking hell. Is he Chinese? He's Chinese, yeah. <laughs> Ni hao. He says, Tiger. He says, good, good, uh, good afternoon, ladies. In a, really, in a really thick New York accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy in um, uh, Final Fantasy XV who's like um, uh, Gangster Ignis, the one that's like Ignis with a really thick New York accent. He's like, yeah, get your stiff. <laughs> I don't know what accent that one. Do you have, do you have Sorry? You hit. What? Tiger Chinese. <laughs> no, all oh, my it's fucking like, god. Stop sw- talking. Freddy, will you, you just silence her? Um, he says, "Oh, please you want you want you want you want tiger? Um, I I can I can get you some perfect grilled tiger. Oh, not a problem." No. <laughs> anyway, pushing her out of the way. Um, do you guys sell like legit antiques? Do you sell legit alive tigers? Um, he says. I, can I, someone take her outside? I know, I, I know a man who can get you a tiger if you if you can pay. We don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. send her to the man who is going to give her the tiger. Just send her away. Send her away. Give me the tiger. He says, um, do you want me to take her outside? Yes. Yes. He says, um, he says, no, I can, I can get a guy. I'll get a guy. I'll, I'll bring him over. He'll, um, he'll, uh, you'll have to go with him and take the money, and he'll get you a tiger. Yep, okay. Do that. It's got to be alive though. Oh, he, tiger! Oh, definitely be alive. Not a problem at all. You might not be You're like definitely him. not going to get sold into the sex slave trade right now. Like... Sounds suspicious. <laughs> no, oh, this seems oh, so... taking this long. Louise, this is so legit. You should definitely go do this. Do you want me to go with her? No. No, you can me. stay here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stay with us. Um, so, are you, um, Louise, are you going with, are you going to go um, uh, meet, the, meet the Tiger Man? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> meet the Tiger Man. I want the Tiger. I'm gonna use it to kill people. Okay, well, well, I'll, I'll, you, you leave the shop, and there's a, and a man meets you upstairs. Um, Hi. And he says, um, I hey, I hey, you looking for tiger? Mm. He says, come with me, I'll, I'll, I'll get you tiger. Live Before tiger. they leave, can I just tell him something? Sure. 
Okay, okay. If you hurt her, I'm going to break every single one of your fingers and then I'm going to start on your toes. So, like, she comes back <laughs> in one piece unharmed. Oh my god, you said intimidate. <laughs> yeah, roll. Can you give me a roll for intimidate? Yeah, sure. If you fuck this up, I might die. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. You might die anyway, so. so. I apologize. Maybe for the... Tiger is slang for something. His no, penis. Tiger. Was that your role just then, Becca? Oh, no, it's no. Oh! oh. So the guy, the guy looks like wide eyed with panic. He's like, uh, yes, madam. Yeah. I mean it. <laughs> he, sort of, he sort of starts sweating and like, sort of nods at you. Yeah. I'll break okay. you, Willie, if I get hurt. Too, so. <laughs> Just so you know. She means it. She, <laughs> means, she means it. So. I right. snapped one off a man. <laughs> he looks a bit. He looks even more panicked, but he he, he escorts you he away anyway. Um, I need to follow the guys in the store now, so we'll come back to you in a minute, Emmy. I'm gonna get a tiger. Thank God Fuck for that. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, dude. Um. Yeah, um, so, I mean, you probably know who Isidore Strauss is. So, oh, everyone knows about Isidore Strauss. Tragic, tragic well, story. That's what I've heard. Um, so, basically, we know that he was an avid collector of antiques and um, historical things and maybe a few, you know, um, voodoo knickknacks, you know, things like that, and that when his estate was sold that they got sent to museums and galleries and stuff. I just don't know if you happen to be aware of anything that may have... Um, mm -hmm. You what? know, gotten outside of that. What are you looking for? He asks quietly. Um, just a, you know, um, you we've we, 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 we've got in mind a few relics, like um, you know, some old um bowls and plates, some stone tablets, maybe some necklaces, things like that. A disc. We're looking for a stone disc. Okay. Holy fucking shit! You guys are thick <laughs> as pigs. I swear <laughs> to God. He asked well, us what we're looking for. My intelligence strategy, not open pie. What's, what's your excuse? What's her excuse? Says, who, who do you work for? Um, ourselves. We're just a band of We're collectors. We're just enthusiasts. Stop talking. If, if, if you're just, <laughs> if you're just enthusiasts, this doesn't seem like something you should be messing with. We're not messing with it, we just mm -hmm. want it. We're, we're, we're very particular collectors and we, we do have a very strong idea of what we're looking for. That's why we get in the tiger. I I appreciate that, but some things are just best left alone because the. But that's what makes them so. All interesting. right, dude. What do you know? Let's just intimidate him. But, oh, let's, no, yeah. let's, no, it's, 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 I'm it's just gonna let her intimidate him. Unknown. I'm just gonna yeah. Right. I, I can't stop this. Although I just got a really good roll, so the chances of me getting another one of these is like low. If it, if it doesn't work, then I can just try and convince him. To... Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Just, just disregard me actually trying to be Woody. interested. Woody's not bad, is it? So, sorry, yeah, what, what, I mean, oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear what you said, Heather, by the way, sorry. Oh, it's, it's fine. No one ever does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So anyway, he is intimidated by you. Yep, he's intimidated. He knows we know. He knows we mean business right now. Yeah. Um. He says, Ask him what you want. He says, oh. he says. He uh, says. You seemed such nice ladies when you came in the shop. Now, I'm, now I'm not so sure. This seems. You know what? There's no reason for you not to think that we're nice ladies. We're going to be perfectly nice, nice to you. I'm, just, I'm not. You, you're playing a dangerous game with dangerous things. This is. You should. You should leave this well enough alone. But you don't know anything about us. You don't know what we're capable of handling. But if you, I just if... intimidated you. Like, tell us what you know. He's not, we're he's, capable he's, he's... of handling tigers. He's um, he, he is, he is, he is, he is being up front with you. He's, he's, he's being honest with you. He's just saying that this is, this is scary stuff that you're, you're getting involved with. It's, it's like, it's, it's... I like scary stuff. That's why I want it. <laughs> we appreciate. I, I want to know we, what it is. We would appreciate and your candor. I want to know how to use it. We would appreciate your candor in this matter. He says, I. I don't know what Isidore kept in his safe. All I know is that um, he came to us and for, for looking for ways to protect it, and we did that. Um, or, or the kind of protection he was asking for is very powerful and very, very dangerous. And he, he if you, if you're now looking for it, um, that's. You're probably... saying that, that that level of protection is something that we're going to have to get past. 
I says, yes, absolutely. Um, it was, um, and you know, I can't help you with that. These things are, you know, if I, if I could just, if I could just give you a, a key that would walk past it, then they wouldn't, then it wouldn't be safe. Um, it's... absolutely. So is there an arrangement that we could come to? So says, no, I can't help you. Says, I can't help you. Um, you, you can. What... Well, no, but you no, can. Nobody can. What, you can tell us where no, it is. Can... No, we, we know where it is, but we need to know what you did to it so that we can get past we, it. We, or at least we, we can ask We helped it. him put protection charms upon upon the safe. Um, I can't help you remove those. That will be on your, on your heads alone, um, on the consequences and the dangers where, that you where, face. Where is the safe? In his storage facility. It's in, yes, in, in Macy's. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> he said it was in the um, he said it was in the in the, the sort of attic, the attic storage area of Macy's, basically on the top floor. Okay. Right, I'm going to cut back to Louise, who is now. Okay, so I'm, I'm now walking along with this guy, and I'm like, I don't want it to look like this. <laughs> I don't. Not, I don't want to die. It better not look like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. That's so upsetting. I'm not, what if it does look like not that? the tiger I'm here for? I'm not editing these pictures into the vodcast, so bear in mind that this is just so that people aren't going to see this stuff at home. She's showing pictures okay. of ugly tigers, and it's really upsetting me because no, all tigers. One of them is blue. <laughs> yeah, one of them is blue. All That's tigers. pretty. You right. said, okay, you don't want a blue tiger. Oh, you're very specific. <laughs> there is no such thing as a blue tiger. <laughs> um. Mm. Anyway, he says. He says. Amy's camera. He says. If you, he takes you into it. He takes you into a pet store. That in the in the in the front of it is all kind of like the standard bog standard pet stuff. And uh, he gives a sort of a wink and a nod to the guy behind the counter who opens a back door where you go into a back room with cages of much more exotic animals, um, including um, three or four tigers. Mm. Yay! <laughs> I want one. Right. Jesus Christ. Um, he, uh, he says $200. Oh my god, that's real cheap! <laughs> $200 in the 20s. A lot of money. I've got six Maybe not for you. We could buy all of them. So if I buy this... Yeah. You just give it me. Yeah, but you, never, but you didn't get it from us, right? Oh yeah, 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 but does it come with a lead? I can give you a lead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, he might run away, and that's $200 running away down New York, so I need a lead. I, I, I see, I just assume someone who's trying to buy a tiger knows how to look after a tiger. Oh yeah, they eat meat. Oh, Are shit. you sure you want this? <laughs> can I have him posted back to the UK? What? What kind of shop do you think this is? Um, a shop that's going to fill my needs. There we go. He says for an extra for an extra twenty dollars, we can have it shipped to a um to um a, a boat for you. Um, to I mean, wow. if, you let, if you let us know which boat you're taking back to the UK, we can have it. Sh we can have it. We can have it delivered. Okay, okay. I don't know which boat I'm taking home yet. Uh, you would know, by the way. Oh, would I? Yeah. Great. Okay, I'm going this boat. It's Here a, you go. Here's, here's it was the a... same one you came in on, basically. Okay, I'm going on that boat. Um, and uh, when I say shipped, I mean he better be comfy and he better be good and he better be fine because if he not, I come back, I kill you. The, the, the guy, the, the shop owner and the guy look at each other and they're like, okay. And then they just... Me. Just me, I have a friend who will break every bone. Yeah, do, do you remember my friend? Yeah, she will, friend. She will come to you. Yeah, I, I enjoy you? breaking bones. It'd be like Liam Neeson and take. <laughs> I, I will find you. We will find you. And we, we will, will kill, kill you. Because this tiger is important. Okay, $220, please. Sold. Okay. Um, so they get, they start, they go, okay, thank you, um, thank you. They take your details and they start working on, um, setting up a packing crate with, like, food and blankets and stuff inside it. Okay, so I have... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have... Um, okay. I have to do money. I, I see, yeah, yeah. It finished. is done. Okay. So... I'm going to call him Simba. <laughs> Simba? <laughs> Shouldn't you call him Shere Khan? Shut up! No, Simba. 
then you're not allowed to pet him, ever. That's totally, completely fine by me. Freddy can pet him. Can I ride him? Wait. No! He's an endangered animal! Says you're buying him! I'm saving him! Right. So, I assume you guys, I assume, um, Louise, you head back to meet up with the crew. Guess who got a tiger? <laughs> this guy! You know where the thing is? Right. Know where the thing is. Yeah, but I got a tiger. We don't care. We know where the thing is. You don't get to ride him. You know that the actual thing that we came here to do, the I important thing? Isabel, 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 Isabel. Yes? Two seconds. I think um, she needs like go over there with her. Like, yeah. like go. What? Go. Come here. Go. Okay. Um, so, um, so like, you've got like, um, like mad juju skills, right? Juju. Yeah, you oh, can't hear me. You. Yeah, we can. You're really loud. No, we're whispering. We're whispering. We're whispering. <laughs> yeah, but your whispering is yelling. My sister says that juju is like a euphemism for like, you know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'll tell you juju, Isabel. <laughs> okay. So like, you know the bad juju? You, you're, you're down with that, right? Like you can sense the bad juju. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, if we went to Macy's on the top floor and we kind of like figured out where the safe was, do you think you'd be able to sense that kind of bad juju there? <laughs> or, or would you need like, would you need like a special like, scope, juju. spell, or book, you, or like she magic? Needs a juju scope. Yeah. Do you need? Do you need a magic wand, or like, um, I don't know, some like sacrificial animals or something? No, you're not touching my tiger. I will actually kill you. You can't hear me, Emmy. <laughs> you're really loud. Can't hear me. I'm with... No. I swear to God, if you you can't we touch my tiger. He's be being shit. Like... I'm not gonna sacrifice the tiger, right? I and know. it depends on the type of juju. So Stop I wouldn't know to until I, I get that. Can I just, like, kick you in the tits? <laughs> <laughs> no! For suggesting the murdering of my tiger. You can't say that! You literally can't hear that. I didn't suggest murdering the tiger. And you're too short, you can never reach my tits with your foot. I want to bet. I'll high kick. <laughs> Watch that, that's not good enough to the knees. I was gonna say, we know how that ended last time someone did a high kick, so... Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, where's I'm that leg? Well, I'm well for it. Where's the leg? <laughs> anyway, the leg. <laughs> I think that um, we should do another scout out at Macy's. We should kind of like go go back before the store closes and like... I think um, we should, yeah. Yeah, good plan. Good plan. Yeah, I'm gonna go the brag, scene. I got my tiger. Because we'll eventually need to get some like plans to um you know the the plans for the store and like the layout and stuff and the the safe, but I think it, like a pre check would be a good plan. Yeah, yeah, we can probably see a store layout in the shop itself, but to yeah. find out where the start we'd need yeah. to Yeah, but yeah. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want you to do I want you to do some like voodoo sensors. Okay, we can try. All right, so you guys, what are you guys doing? Are you heading back to Macy's then? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you guys head back to Macy's. Um, you're back on the ground floor. You know, Mines of Moria, whatever. <laughs> hey, let's go up as far as we can, I guess. Like... Sorry? Should we go up to the top floor, like the highest floor we can get to? Okay, so yeah, so... Should we try and find a floor plan? Uh, so any, basically, you, you try and you head upwards, but access you, up the wooden escalators. But access to the, above the sixth floor has been blocked off due to their expansion work into the surrounding buildings. There's a lot of construction work going on. Okay. And is there an indication of like any staff area on this floor, like that um, might? Every like... every floor has a bunch of doors <laughs> in one side leading to the back, the staff back rooms. Do the staff wear a uniform? Um, no, they're they're all just dressed smartly. Okay. Oh. Um, can I go to a counter? I want to strike up a conversation and speak to a member of staff and like engage them. And um, while I'm engaging them in conversation and distracting them, I want to take off the. Um, I'm assuming they've got like some kind of employee pin badge or something. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And do they have like keys with them? It depends on the staff member, doesn't it? Okay. Well, 
one employee I want to try and pilfer the staff badge off and then I want to try and eyeball another employee um, after. If I would, we get I would recommend, just for the roles, using a thief to do that bit. Um, I've got <laughs> um, 50 in flight of hand. That's not a great number. What's Emmy got? Emmy, what's your sleight of hand? Oh, she's got 50 as well, actually. Yeah, and I can I can I can distract with um, charm. Okay. Okay. It's okay. I'm not really important. Because you're really good at stealing and breaking the stuff. I mean, that is the whole point of my character, but yeah, it's fine. I'm doing my like James Bond routine. I'm oh. gonna like charm someone and like take Why? something off. Why doesn't Emmy go for the keys while you go for the badge? Yeah, exactly. This it's is fine. why I am the brain. I don't, I don't need your pity. <laughs> you I'm the one that came up with the idea. You, you just go and do it. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna uh, be like, oh, excuse me. Um, I'm looking for this kind of thing. Like, you know, I've got a Christmas party to go to, and I need to take a present. We're doing like this whole secret Santa thing, so I need something like in this particular budget, like for this kind of like thing. And I want something that's gonna be generic enough that everyone will like it, but unique enough that nobody will have seen it before. And I'm just gonna go on and on and on and on. Okay. So. You roll right. I don't know, can I roll charm, or should I just roll straight up? Um, and that would that... be that would be that would be a charm thing. That would be. Or a yes, because I want I want I, I want to charm them into um being distracted and then i'll roll to um yeah um slash roll because if it seems like they're not distracted then okay, okay so yeah you've got you've got their attention completely okay <laughs> what have you done nothing I'm nothing just yet all oh, right okay Oh my god! Oh, what? Um, you got their attention, but you try to grab um, grab their badge or keys, and um, they just um, they just um, see your movements towards them, and just step back. Oh, please, please stay the other side of the counter. Um, oh, sorry, I was just admiring the badges. They're really beautifully gilded and laid out. He's... Right. So yeah, that's that's failed. Um, what are you? Um, have you got? Have you got anything you want to try, um, Emmy? While that's going on. I mean, try to steal a badge. Why not? Yeah. Try and steal a badge or keys. Are they behind desks? Some of them are. I mean, there's people all over the place. I'd be easier taking a badge or a key off someone that's walking around so I can bump into them. Yeah, I, I didn't know the person I was talking to was behind a counter, but I guess it doesn't matter because I filled the rule anyway. Um, when we left a minute ago, Elsie had just failed to steal um, uh, keys or a badge off one member of staff. Um, and you guys were discussing your options. Oh yeah, whether we wanted to deck someone in the toilet and steal their badge. I might find them. Yeah, they could find them. And then they that, know were there. That's, I, I can't do any other, I can't do anything more subtle, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be mad if you try it. We could hide him in a broom cupboard. I don't really care. You can hide him anywhere. True. If you get cool. if you get him from behind, then nobody, then he won't be able to be a witness. That's true. Okay, we'll go from we'll go from behind. <laughs> okay then. Wow. Oh, and he didn't work. Fuck's sake. Um. Yep. Yeah, okay then. Cool. So what are you gonna do? Um. We're we're gonna take him out. All right. So you... find someone alone. Yeah. All alone. Are you gonna go wait in the toilets, or are you just gonna find someone? What, 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 what's your plan? Like, how are you? How are you finding this person? Yeah, maybe maybe wait in the toilet because there's, there's less chance of someone. Yeah, yeah. Seeing me in there. Well, they'll see me. Are you going in there alone or with the whole crew? Or like all four of you just standing around the toilet? <laughs> you can watch me knock someone out if you want. No, I think I should probably go alone because um, if it all goes horribly wrong, um. They'll just see everyone, and that'll be bad. Okay. Yeah, you'll be the only one to blame if it goes wrong. Yes, exactly. that's right. All right, so Freddie goes into the, to the um, uh, I assume the ladies, is it, you're going into? Uh, yeah, it's going to look a bit weird if I go into men's. Okay, so you go into the ladies' toilets. Um, there's no, oh, I'm sorry, sorry there's, um, there's one customer just um, wa finishing washing up their hands, and then she leaves. Um, okay. So you just want to wait around for a little bit? Um, yeah. What, they, oh, she's going to have... They're going to have staff toilets. Yeah, that's what I've just thought. 
Yeah, I need a member of staff though. Yeah, but they're gonna have staff toilets. This, these are the public toilets for customers. Oh. They, mm. might, they might be right. Oh, I don't know. Staff, yeah, staff yeah. toilets are gonna be behind the doors. I don't know that I can sneak in there though. Uh oh. This plan was not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, and the staff don't... Oh, do they have staff toilets? We don't know. I'm just going to assume they probably have staff toilets. In, 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 in full disclosure, I hadn't considered staff toilets until um, Emmy mentioned it, and now she's mentioned it. I'm like, yeah, that's probably true. Damn it, Emmy! <laughs> For fuck's sake, Emmy. I'll work in retail! Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I shit all over the place. <laughs> okay then. So not toilets. Let's go find the staff toilets then. This yeah. is why I wanted to get a badge. Yeah. Staff this toilets is, yeah. are behind the door. That's apparently locked. Oh yeah, the staff toilets are in. So the door is locked and unlocked on a semi-regular basis. A secluded as... corridor anywhere that's like near a uh, like I don't know either like a a broom cupboard or any kind of cupboard that people don't use very often or like a toilet is the door um like in a public place okay just to elaborate there are about 20 of these doors um there's like all the way down there's all these doors leading to the back room um, people are regularly coming in and out of them they're pretty diligent about making sure to lock them as they you know as they come through but they're, all of these doors are in pretty regular use oh okay so they're carrying keys uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people basically, some people are, and some people just um, are just um, filtering back and forth through. Thing is, if they keep coming in and out, I can't really lock pick it either because someone might just come through while I'm opening it. I could cause a distraction. Yeah, I was going to say we need to make a distraction, don't we? But then won't people come? I guess at that point, people will come running out the door anyway. Okay, well, if, um, basically we've just got to sneak one in, don't we? I guess that is basically the idea. Basically, we've got to, like, distract somebody who's just come through a door before yeah. they close it again. To get one of us in, and then after they've gone, that one in can then come back and open the door. Yeah. Okay, well, um, if you want to try that, um, y you're... You could just roll on stealth, to be honest, um, um, Emmy. You could probably just, basically, if somebody walks through, you could probably just slip in behind them. <laughs> Time to fuck it up. No! Hello? Hey, Heather. Hello! <laughs> Your internet's still bad, though, isn't it? Yeah. I wish I knew why. What pain. Did you win, Emmy? Yeah, Amy? actually. Okay. Can't. So, Emmy, your stealth is seventy. Mm, okay. So you um so that so somebody so uh, uh you know an uh, an elder gentleman walks through the door walks through the door um leaves it on a latch to catch a lock behind him and you just sort of slip through behind him without him noticing. That was me slipping through. Um, you're in the back room area now. Um, the back room is like a series of cramped corridors piled high with boxes um, among shelves filled with smaller boxes. The staff running back frantically back and forth, grabbing like additional inventory to get it out of the shop floor. No one's really paying any attention to you. Um, everyone's very, very busy moving stuff back and forth. Um, the door you just nice. came, the door you just came through is kind of like a Yale lock in that it's like, lock, you know, it can be unlocked from a key from the other side, but this side is just a latch kind of thing. Okay, so I can just latch the door. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, yeah. Is there anywhere that we can dive into? Room like is is it just a long corridor or straight or? Oh, uh, it's it's like a it's 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 like it's like a I don't know room room width thing with lots of little corridors and aisleways. It's like like a like a really cramped shop or something like that if you imagine like but it's just boxes piled high, people moving back and forth, everyone with purpose and and busyfully moving about. You'd have to explore it a bit if you were looking for somewhere specifically to go. Okay, so if I unlatch the door, get everyone in, and we should just walk with purpose, and no one will speak to us. That would probably work. Let's do that. 
Okay, so you unlatch the door, and the rest of you um, can can go through and follow her if you want. I'm gonna check. Nice. Are there any like spare boxes that no one's looking at? There's hundreds. There's boxes everywhere. Okay. I suggest we all pick up boxes and start walking. Okay. And just look tired. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, are they, they're not wearing the people in the back aren't wearing any specific aprons or anything. Are they all just dressed normally? Uh, most people are just dressed smartly. Uh, we'll we'll fit right in then, I guess. We're um, a little overdressed. Um, We're wearing dresses. But yeah, um, every woman would have been in the nineteen twenties. Mm. <laughs> we can well, still try. Let's let's it's fine. make an attempt at, is being made. Okay, so you you just sort of walk through um, the staff. Nobody really, like, especially once you pick up boxes, nobody's really paying any attention to you guys. Um, as you start walking down the corridors, you notice that some of the area is um, is obviously um, is you know is uh, doorways leading back in, but also there's a lot of areas that are like cordoned off with sheets and um, and um, and sort of wooden coverings where they're doing like expansion work. Like there's basically like um, the pathway into essentially a building site because the the adjacent building is currently being renovated to become part of the same building. Interesting. Ooh. So, did he say the safe was up? It's in the attic. In the attic. So we need to find stairs. Yeah. Um, there are um, a selection of um, uh, there is there is like a, there's an old um, fire escape style staircase, and there are lifts um, for um, for moving inventory up and down. Should we go staircase. Wouldn't the staircase be less intrusive if someone like opens up at one floor and looks at us like? <laughs> Maybe I just don't know if the. I, I mean, we can try it. I don't know if it'll go all the way to the attic. I think the fire escape is more likely to. Yeah, we can go up the fire escape. Okay, so you, that's just my assumption. Um, so you start heading up the fire escape. You already on the. You were already on the sixth floor, weren't you? Which is as high as you could get. Mm-hmm. As soon as you get up onto the seventh floor, um, the um, uh, the fire escape still goes upwards, but also around you, it's the um, it's no longer like Macy's shop floor. It's all part of like the construction work, and so it's kind of like um, very quiet and empty, apart from like um, you know um, uh, you know boxes and piles of bricks and all that kind of stuff. I guess we can drop our boxes now because <laughs> we're going to be speaking from now on. What's in my box? Uh, yours has uh, perfume in it. Ooh, what's in my box? Uh, yours has men's deodorant. <laughs> oh. I mean, that's useful. You could use it as a bartering tool. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't want to smell. <laughs> isn't isn't oh, right. deodorant essentially a genderless product anyway? Yeah. What's my box? Uh, your box has a um, an, um, an umbrella with a duck on the handle. <laughs> 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 I'm taking it. <laughs> um, wait, wait. Hello, friends. <laughs> uh, Heather, do you want to look in your box as well? What's in Maine? Yeah, what's in Maine? Uh, um, a big round beach ball. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Is it is it already inflated? It, yeah, it is weirdly already inflated. Like there's a big box and they've just put a big beach ball and inflated it in the box. I just, just can't like, get the staff these days. Can America's you? weird. <laughs> well, I think I would just pop that, but I know we need to be quiet, oh, yeah. so I'm just gonna place it down very <laughs> carefully. Are you not taking the beach ball? No. Just we can take it on the way out. We can take I'm it gonna the leave way. the deodorant also. I am taking the perfume because I smell great. <laughs> I'm just going to give myself a couple of... Alright, so you're on the seventh floor now, but do the stairs still go upwards, or, you know, there's the building site around you, so what's your plan? Are you feeling any weird juju right now, Isabel? Uh, no. Cool, should we keep going up? <laughs> <laughs> I feel that you should be doing some sort of... Alright, so you go up the so stairs... Don't really have a juju manifest. So you go up to the eighth floor... You don't understand juju. Um, and... The there isn't although there's another floor above you the um, fire escape le now um, leads up to a set of um, like the fire escape's been partially deconstructed as they're built you know they're doing the expansion work and there's a ladder leading up onto the sort of roof area um, which which Ooh. which is adjacent to the top floor of the attic basically but you'll have to you'll have to get out onto the roof of the building. What's your stealth, um, Louise? Seventy. Do you want to try and sneak up the ladder and, like, um, give us the all-clear first? 
maybe just have a look and see what you can see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like climb up and see what's there quietly, because we don't want to just don't charge you up. Get like... up on the roof and be like, exactly. Yeah. Witness me, <laughs> Legolas. Can your elven eyes see? Give me a roll. I bought a tiger today. Do you want to give me a roll, um, Emmy, and see how you get? All right. Uh, so you, you, everything you, is fifty today. So yeah, you sneak up the ladder oh, and um, out on the roof. Um, on the roof, there's um, you can see a doorway leading into the um, into the uh, Macy's attic to the, to one side. Um, on the other side, there's an old man with his back to you um, on um, with like a um, with like a, a, a you know like a you know like a drum with fire coming out of it. He's like he's like a, he's like just sort of he's it, you know it's not homeless man, but he's like a he's like um he's been, oh he's like a bouncer. Oh! Yeah, I was thinking some I was, shit. Yeah, I was getting worried. Yeah. Oh, that he was doing some ritual. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's just. No, he's, he's just, like a. He's, like he's, he's trying, trying, trying to stay warm. He's trying to. He's just trying to stay warm. Some kind of bouncer, right? I assume. So Not that I can see it. Does he um, look like a bird? He's. Um, he looks like. He looks like he's probably in. In. In some way related to the construction work. Oh, okay. So he's a builder. Yeah. Well, we're not going to look. There's, there's going to be no plausible explanation for why all of us are up here. So, I guess we need to incapacitate. I have, I have a, I have a reason. What is that reason? Good reason. Trust me. Okay. I don't trust you. It's a good it's reason. I promise. Why don't you, why don't you try it on me first? You know, rehearse it on me. I need to rehearse on you. What are you going to do? Oh, God. I feel like we should send Becker up to thrall him. No. Okay. Through. I mean, you, you want to sneak. You want to sneak behind him into the door. Like we're just gonna walk, and when he turns around, if he turns around and asks us who we are, I'll tell him that we're the buyers. I don't know if it's a good idea to let you talk to people. Why? That's a free thing. <laughs> we have buyers, and we are the buyers. But, but, but why is no one, is no one else there? getting vibes of this is not a great idea? No, no I don't think it is either. But the attic has stock in it, and we're the buyers, and we're coming to inspect the new stock that we ordered, and we want to inspect it before it goes live. Um, mm. I just don't think that you could convince anyone of that. That's all. Okay. So Freddy, how do you feel? How are your throttling fingies feeling? <laughs> Why well, I was going from bartering to throttling. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like is this a big guy? Uh, he's I mean, he, he's 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 not he's not small, but he's old, you know. You've got the element of surprise. Construction. Oh. You do. We don't want to murder him. We just want to give him a a light throttle. <laughs> He's not going to know anything about who you are in regards to the shop. I feel like... And we're fancily enough dressed that we could be buyers. Could be the Dallas Buyers Club. So come on, yes. what, are you, what are you guys doing then? We could always you... talk to him and if it goes wrong then I'll well, throttle him. I'll, I'll, put, like, I'll put it simple. Like... Louise, Louise, you're at the top of the ladder, so what are you doing? Getting up off the ladder. Okay, so I'm going to pull the ladder right. down I'm str- you from the bottom. The she's, gonna, she's on the roof. Oh my god, why don't you let me do the talking? Because you shat on my plan. Right. He's the professional talker out of us, dude. Just, oh, just that, out of curiosity. That's, rich. that's incredibly rich. <laughs> just, anyway, you, can't, you guys curiosity. can't have this argument because um, uh, you've pulled the ladder away and at the bottom of the ladder, <laughs> he's standing on the roof on her own. Okay, oh. well, let's try and put the ladder back and try and... <laughs> Go up the ladder and try and not, not. We're not going to interrupt him. We're not going to let the guy know we're there. I but I think said, we should. I was I, just going to walk straight to the door. I okay. think we're going to just like listen to how this goes for her because if it fucks up, then we'll jump in. But if it doesn't, then all right. If, well, it doesn't my issue well. is even if I tell him who I am and you guys suddenly appear after me, he's going to get confused. Anyway, you guys, I assume, all climb up the ladder and start heading towards the door. He looks. I o- don't want to be seen. He looks over. Smiles and gives you a wave and then goes back to his fire. Exactly. Luckily. He's a builder. <laughs> is the door lo- is the door locked? Uh the door is locked to the um to the attic, yes. Hello. Okay. 
Okay. Should we, should we join her? Should we go and join her? You're already with me. Are we? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, I broke that lock. Oh fucking yeah, hell! Yeah, <laughs> just climbed up. Um. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you just opened the door. Yeah. You just opened the door. <laughs> I was so on fire. I just went nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was so perfect. The one of your practice, one of the practice keys you make when you're, you know, doing lock picks was the perfect key. You a you just accurately predicted ahead of time what exact key would fit that lock. So it looks to that guy that you just unlock the door with a normal key. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I'm a buyer. <laughs> you shout, you're a buyer as you walk in. Bye -bye. Tell me from the downstairs club. <laughs> Right, so, uh, so the ninth floor of Macy's is currently being used as a huge storeroom. Cloth covers many unused sales counters, and the rows are stacked full of uh, boxes of goods to be used by the main floors downstairs. Um, dominating, though, a huge corner of the room is a huge metal cage um, with a big iron lock on it. Inside the cage, you can see an array of old wooden desks, filing cabinets, boxes, and a six-foot safe. I was so excited. Can you do a juju check? Oh, she's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, do a juju check. Do a juju check. Right, okay. Would that be under a cult? Uh, let me just, uh, yeah, go, give me a cult roll. Cool. Just seeing if I'm feeling any vibes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, something and it's mostly shame. <laughs> so yeah, mm -hmm. you, you sort of have a look around the room um, and all you oh. feel is vaguely cold. <laughs> a bit cold. <laughs> a bit chilly up here. I'm not okay. going to lie. I don't know if that's the... Or if that's like something else, but it's... it's There's a cold atmosphere. So it's probably fine. Uh, I mean, you don't feel anything weird, right? No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't feel probably fine. anything weird, but... Right, I Louise, feel like it's on the, the juju. Like, <laughs> well, I just heard juju and nothing else. Well, um, <laughs> Isabel seems to think that it's fine, so um, do you want to try and break it down, Louise? <laughs> no. I'm going to step um, back. Isabel seems to think that it's totally fine. Um, I, so Lu I Louise, it's Isabel your turn. Step back. So I'm also going to step back. She just said it was fine. Yeah, no, but I can see that from over here. But it's your turn to break in. I said you're, I don't feel anything over. untoward, but not feeling something is necessarily a good thing. Yeah, but is it you're necessarily? Well, Berkeley, crack on. We just you got push no... her forward. You've got no reason to doubt her. She said that everything's fine. Can I listen to the safe? Uh, well, you can't get to the safe at the moment because it's inside a big cage that's locked. Oh, oh okay. So I can unlock the guard. Try and unlock the cage. I'm not going to have this much skill. You're going to have to start coming up with other ways of getting in. There's too many doors and cages. Okay, I'm in. All right, yeah, so the, you, you manage to pull off the iron lock and then you get you step inside and as I say, inside the cage, um, you see the safe has got loads of pieces of paper stuck to it um, with a strange writing on them. Um, the I'm sorry, that is Juju. Yeah, that sounds like Juju. 100% Would I know juju. what that is just by Your looking juju at it? Juju reader is broken. You would, you would recognize them, um, Isabel, as protection wards. Like incantations. Uh, yeah, these are to protect mm. the safe against. Um... I've got a really good idea. Yeah. Oh God. Is everyone gonna? Is do you guys um, trust me? Tell us your idea oh, first. Yeah. No, tell us the idea can first. I, can I borrow your perfume, um, Louise? Um. Um. Can I? If you tell me why. Oh. I've got a really good idea. I already told you I don't trust you. Mm. This is probably going to involve you throwing the perfume at the safe. I swear I'm not going to throw the perfume. I'm only going to do one or two sprays. I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, Isabel, so what's the worst master, that can happen? I could lose my perfume. But no. it depends what it's doing. It's protecting something, but is it protecting what's inside it from getting out? 
Or is it protecting us from what's inside it? Yeah, is it stopping us from getting in, or is it stopping it from, or that getting, from getting out? Yeah. That's what I'm going to find out, by not touching it and not ruining your perfume. <laughs> that doesn't uh, make any sense. It does, trust me. I'm the juju master, you said it yourself. And I'm endorsing this idea. So... Oh. Tell you what, I'm fucking sick of her shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the um, bottles out of my bag of um, liquor. I assume whiskey of some kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take my handkerchief. I'm going to tuck my handkerchief in it. Get it a little <laughs> bit. What? You wouldn't let me do this the easy way, so let's do this the hard way. And I'm going to light the end of the handkerchief. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? How is this better than throwing the plastic leg? I want to throw the Molotov cocktail out the fucking All safe. Right, so you're going to do that? So you throw... You... You... You've driven me to this. <laughs> you could have oh, just fuck. said... You could have trusted me, right, but you okay, don't. So, so this is what happens. So you throw, oh. you throw the Molotov at the safe. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The, um... The, um... Oh. It, the whole surface of the safe goes up in flames. Mm-hmm. Um, all of the All of the pieces of paper burn away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And the lights in the room begin to cut out around you, one by oh, one. Shit. But yeah. we've got loads of fire, so we can still see, right? Uh, so as <laughs> the, the a, a sort of an unnatural darkness sort of collapses in around you. Unnatural. Okay, right. There's there's juju happening now, right? <laughs> you don't want to say. Okay. I don't need to know that there's juju happening. Okay. <laughs> Flashlight. Wow! Thanks, um, obvious. But um, your flash... I'm so glad we've got your recall expertise here to, you know, inform us in these times. Is, is it going so dark I that I can't use the flashlight? I just came back to everyone laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you just saw. Um, <laughs> but it's all uh, there. Yeah. So. Oh my God, okay. You didn't even let me finish my description. So um, so yeah, everything everything goes dark. Um. You can still see each other in like an unnatural way, but like nothing or else around you has any kind of light. You can't see the safe. You can't see the um, you can't see like the the floor around you or anything. Um, you do see one uh, spot uh, spotlight um, in in the distance. Um, and um, but... please, nobody walk towards the light. <laughs> I, can I? Does my flashlight do anything in the dark? Um, your flashlight. Uh, like the beam will go out, and if you point it at yourself, it works. But as soon as it hits the darkness, it's just it just it's just gone. Oh, okay. This is juju darkness because this is a good torch. <laughs> I feel like we might be fucked. Yeah, but we don't know whether this is protection <laughs> spell working or this is the doings of whatever's inside the safe. No. We could have actually all died when you blew us up with the multiple. The... No, we couldn't have. I didn't throw it at us. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how that works. It's exactly how it works. Yeah. You can hear okay. whispering maybe in the darkness, getting la slowly <laughs> louder. A laugh? No, whispering. Oh, what, what this, what's the whispering saying? Um, that's the Lord telling us whispering. I'm, I'm, can I use li my listen skill to try and listen to what it's saying? The whisper. Yeah, uh, we'll yeah, want to try to do that too. Capri's, 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 Capri's. I probably I can't hear anything. <laughs> I can hear quite a bit. So, um, so Lauren's character, um, Elsie, um, his loser. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, Juju. <laughs> Juju. I'm fucking believable. <laughs> Um, it is it is you out? Isabel's character has um, some words in Latin that you recognise as the as it, as as a question asking you over and over again, who do you serve? Oh no! Uh, 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 Liquor Santa, is yeah. an answer. Um, there's there's a there's a voice and it's asking me who I serve. Uh, I think this is definitely bad juju, I know, but I'm but... not sure. What if it, like, maybe, um, maybe you can ask it back in Latin, um, be like, definitely who you serve. Oh my god, that's <laughs> not <laughs> Can you 
say samesies in Latin? Samesies. Can you ask that? I think you should try. Wait, I can speak Latin! Can you? Yeah, that's part oh, of my yeah. character's backstory. That's really cool. Do I know how to say samesies in Latin? You can say something <laughs> that's equivalent of that. Um, but... I'm at it, samesies. So, are you saying that then? Yeah. So you say that, and then the voice gets louder just saying over and over again, who do you serve? I was hoping it was going to get louder saying loser. Isabel, is there anything in one of your juju books you can look at to figure out what this kind of incantation yeah. will be asking for? Well, I don't really have any in my juju books. What's really confusing is that if these are like Chinese incantations, why it's speaking to me in Latin, um, which is a bit, bit weird. Um, well, it just gets to show those like... protection charms are fucking bullshit, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can right? It would. I, I think the, probably the rationale why it's in Latin is because when I wrote this bit of the adventure, I didn't realize you guys were going to go to Chinatown. Oh. So I didn't make oh, the so I didn't, bad improvisation on my part. Let's be honest. Terrible. In Chinese, Terrible. it's saying "Who do you serve?" and all of us are like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> "None of us speak Chinese." Um, would, would I have any further like occult knowledge? Would I be able to do another occult role? Um, you would just know that you're in you're inside something pretty serious here, and that um, it's like that we're in deep. The, at least deep juju. You, you would probably have a sense that whatever you're dealing with now is more a mechanism than a person. Wait, what? Okay. Hmm. Guess how it's hmm. Oh god. Uh, I'm just trying to figure what I can really do about it. Besides, like, swear at it in Latin and make it angry. Um, I mean... Did you say that it's just asking you a question? It's not like giving you an option or anything? No, it's just asking me who I serve and getting our right. I guess it needs the right answer to let us out then. It's like a password. Yeah, but like, but like what is the right answer? Is it like but like an evil voodoo password? Devil? <laughs> <laughs> See, the but funny thing is, you can't like... just make up an evil voodoo password. Like... <laughs> That's why not going to wash with this thing. Why don't we did, say Mr. Macy? I don't oh, know what that was. Did, 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 did the guy in the occult shop give you any indicate? What was that horrible noise? <laughs> Feedback, I think. Yeah. Are you being legit, you being right, legit now? right now? What noise? Ah! Oh, God! Oh, did you guys hear that? What? Yeah, I can hear as well. Did you hear that? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's really scary! <laughs> <laughs> so what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say to this um, thing? Um, Lauren already is Juju. <laughs> my eyes just roll back in my head. <laughs> um, it's asking over and over again, who do you serve? Why don't we say the name of the guy? Um, did, did, did you get any indication from the occult shop guy of what the answer might be? I don't remember him saying anything, but just in case. Not, not things specific just said it was something that he wanted to protect that he was the one who was in charge of it and he wanted to protect it so maybe if this is the one protecting it strauss is the one that we should be serving say his name then maybe say his name three times in the mirror oh my god <laughs> say his name is it a strauss yeah. okay i'll try that i'll i'll start off quiet so is it all strauss um, anything the, happen? Then yeah, the 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 thing starts like screaming and shouting, "Who do you serve?" And you can feel the darkness contracting around you, like physically feel it now, like like getting thicker around you. Maybe we should just say our mistress. Yeah, maybe we should be honest, the mistress. For once in our lives, let's be honest. So, yeah, that... the mistress. Okay, so you guys say the, you guys say the mistress, um, and the darkness begins to subside. Oh. Yeah, it likes honesty. Um, and um, this just got us. Um, and then, um, uh, a Freddy, get your gun out. Sort of an area, a patch of lightness, appear, um, brightness appears, and a man, an old man that you'll recognise as bearing the sort of um, ghostly image of Isidore Strauss, um, steps steps forward, um, and says, um, 
It says that's not a name I thought I would uh, I'd ever hear in this uh, in this premises. Uh, why are you here? Um, our employer, the mistress, she said that she was your friend, and she's asked us to recover an artifact that belonged to you and bring it to her. It says um, it says I, I, I this this version of me never met her, but I can only presume I uh, I only presume I my you know the real me met her before before his death. Um, I, I know I know of her work and I know what she wanted, so I guess I'm glad for her of all people to take take ownership of the disc. But do you realise what um, what you're playing at? The games you're playing here? We literally have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, our our job tends to be just as delivery people. We don't actually get to know about. The we do, we we just do our best. Okay, but you... Yeah. We do our best pretty well. I, I got a tiger today. Do you know a woman called Dahlia? She was, like, really creepy. We didn't tell her who we were, and we didn't tell her what we were looking for, but... Dahlia, um... will, Dahlia will know you're here for this, and she will hunt you, and you will... Okay, well... Ah, she is a bitch. Um, so, I knew it. Uh, but the... the my Anyone ward, called Dahlia my, shouldn't be trusted. My wards have kept her away for a long time, um, but you've broken them now, and so I'm, I'm going to relinquish the disc to you, um... I hope you can get it back to the mistress before before Dahlia finds you. Um, we'll, we'll do our best. Do you know if there's anything that will help us against Dahlia? Like anything that's helped you or anything that you can advice you can give us to elude her? Only that she doesn't know of you and I managed to avoid her finding out about me and, my, me and the things I kept for a long time. Um, I suspect it's probably a bit late for that for you, for you ladies. We didn't tell her a name. She thinks I'm called Barbara. She thinks I'm called Lola. And the guy's beginning to the guy's beginning to fade away. By the way, um, and the lights oh, no. start re reforming in the world, the room around you. Right. Um. I Thank think. Thank you I... for your help. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight. For battery reasons. <laughs> um. And as as the room as he he sort of disappears into nothing. Um. The safe is gone, but the stone disc is just sitting on the floor where the safe was. How like big is it? It's uh, about this big. It's sort of pretty relatively well, portable. Okay. Yeah. Freddie, you can put it in your bag. Okay. Right. I don't think we should go out the way we came if we can help it. No, I think that's a bad I mean, idea. I mean, is it out the front of the shop? Because I'm assuming this place only has one door. Uh, yeah, that's kind of at the moment. That was basically the only way in and out. Um, the um, yeah. all the rest of it is blocked by construction. Like not just like blocked, but like you know, it's not. If it's, we, what is that? yeah, we'll have to come out this door and we'll have to go back down that ladder. But then there must be an other ways down. The, there's no way the yeah, we will. Yeah, place. if if we're behind the scenes, then we should be able to find like a staff back end uh, exit mm. out, not onto the main street, right? Yeah, I mean the builders do not to... use the fire escape to get up and down the building. No, we just have to hope that the guy um, who was out standing out there didn't know about any of this. Oh, he definitely didn't. Maybe. Maybe he's yeah, but we, but we don't know who it trusts or what to trust. Like, like, now, now I'm even second guessing like that person who told Isabel about the speakeasy. I don't know we should go anywhere where anyone might be expecting us as a group. We don't have any reason to go to yeah. the speakeasy now. Oh, um, well, we need to hide out until our boat leaves. Oh, shit. When's the boat? We can go hotel. back. We could go back to like the Chinese dude and see if he can help us. I, I don't think like, we should go. Don't touch that thing, but I definitely don't think we should go back there. We've been seen there before, yeah. and he'll he'll know what we have if we go back. I don't think that's a good idea either. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. I, I think we should have kept a hold of the tiger. Plus, there's a tiger. <laughs> well, we, we know there's going to be a tiger on the boat, so. On the boat. Mm. So what are you going to do? Let's go to the boat. Yeah, surely if the boat's docked and we're going to be leaving back on it, then when, we can just when does our boat leave? Like how many days? Uh, your boat uh, is supposed to, is due to leave again um, uh, the day after tomorrow. Uh, we need to but, find out somewhere to hide until then. We've because got otherwise... a bit of money, so we could probably check into a hotel. Yep. Um, Let's get out of here first. Okay. Yeah, good plan. Yeah. This is not a good place to stand. Why don't you like have a sneaky look outside first and make sure that that guy's not like giving a shit about us? I'll have a look and see what he's doing, or at least I'll try and have a look. I'm probably gonna fall through the door. There it is. <laughs> you fall through the door. <laughs> 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 um, the old, the um, the the old, the old man just looks around and sort of um, laughs, uh, laughs and laughs at you. Um, I'm not, I'm 
slippy floor, you know, winter. It is, and it is, and um, yeah, and and as as you look outside, it's snow. Uh, like snow is beginning to fall. Like it's out, like the whole like it's like night. Night is hitting New York, and it's snow everywhere. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm fine to get snow. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're gonna okay. do it! Oh my god! Not gonna, it's not properly up. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> so are you guys all heading outside. Uh, Should would we go it be... to the lower floor and then go to? The... Oh, sorry. What we said? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I was going to say, should we just go to one lo- one floor lower and then try and find a back entrance from there? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go down the lift. Right. So as you guys all leave the room, um, yeah. the, the old man takes off his cloak. Um, oh no! And it's no longer an old man. It's Dahlia. Oh. Oh for fuck! I found you. I found you. What the fuck? How did you do that? Uh, she said. She said. Why do you have all of yeah. your teeth again? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's making your voice worse. Yeah, yeah. we can't actually hear what you're saying. I'm gonna go back to shoot her. Shoot her. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can shoot her. I'm just gonna give you the signal. Kneecaps, kneecaps. Okay, okay kneecaps, kneecaps. We're going for the kneecaps. Are you gonna fire at her then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me your bag first. Okay. Okay. Fuck it, obviously she does. <laughs> Remember. Okay, so do you want to um do you want to um give me a give me a roll for your 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 weapon uh, weapon fire um I think it's three rolls actually um for your weapon ro- fire um Becca. Okay. Uh, is that out of the hundred one again? Yeah 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 yeah. You need to roll under seventy to hit. Okay. Ready, guys. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was a bad roll. You got two more. It's fine. Got three shots. Okay. Yes! That's a good one. Yes! Okay, so you managed to get two, one, sh- one shot into her leg and one shot into into um, uh, her gut. Oh. Go, 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 run, run! <laughs> um, run! Give it legs, guys. Um, can you give me two... Uh, what, sorry, uh, actually, uh, uh, you need to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do these for you just to, just to save us some time. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how much damage you've done. Oh right. Ooh. All right. So you do 16 damage. Okay. So that's a Fucking lot of damage. That, that would sounds... that would kill any, any of you guys. Oh. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I've only got 11 hit points. Shake, guys. Um, Please don't shoot me. Um, ever. I never plan on shooting you. Don't so worry. yeah. So she. Uh, so you get two shots on her. Um. She screams in shock. <laughs> oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> Run. <laughs> um, Look it. Look it. <laughs> Um, but before you before you can run, uh oh, <laughs> she's the mafia. She's got men. Um, she's clearly more scary than that. <laughs> um, she she um um she sort of kicks over the the, the fire drum. Oh for fuck's sake! And rolls it over to where the ladder is, and then the ladder sort of steps on fire. Are you oh, fucking kidding oh, me? Who makes ladders out of wood? Why can we you push, do that? Can we push her off the building? Um, and you have to get closer to her for that. I, mean, I don't, don't want to do that. No. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not a violent person. How 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 high I'll was the ladder? Can we make the jump? Uh, it's a floor, isn't it? Yeah, it's like um, a floor. It's pretty. I mean, it's a relatively. I mean, it's, it'd be a dangerous drop, but you could you could give it a go. I'll do it. I'm a thief. <laughs> Has anyone got a rope? Oh, no. I've got a rope. So, I've got a rope. If, while, while, before, I mean, she gets a turn here, by the way, and she's. I mean, she says oh. it doesn't have to be this difficult, ladies. Just give me the disc. It doesn't. Oh, oh, this isn't difficult. <laughs> we do this every day. <laughs> okay, someone distract her, and we'll tie the rope. I'm so, wrong. like, um, <laughs> I've got. <laughs> why, <laughs> why do you even? Why are you? Why are you fucking following us? Like, the three of her. Can so, we throw this at her? Can we throw the leg at her? <laughs> throw the leg at her. <laughs> so someone needs it. to throw this. I don't have a good throw can skill. Can we just have like, to give it up? Please, please. I've got Ready, there you go. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, I need. Yeah. Good. good. I can throw, throw it. Okay, I'm going to start tying this rope. Okay, you're tying I'm the rope. Try. I'm, cool. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to distract yeah. it. But like, so oh, like, God. why are you so obsessed oh. with this? Troll. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know. No, no, I'm gonna try and like keep talking and try distracting. <laughs> I'm gonna try and like make her, make her all of her attention on me somehow right. because I'm just being so completely obscene okay. and ridiculous. Okay, like, let me, let what me, the fuck is wrong with you? Let me let me at least uh, enunciate her replies to you at least anyway. Um, 
but I've thrown something at her and I've definitely hit her. Okay, okay well, let, me, let me play this out. <laughs> um, was it a plastic bag? Uh, it was. Hopefully there's going to be so much going on. <laughs> 40, 40, so and I got 13. Bag, like, so she's been Merry hit with Christmas, a bag. Merry Christmas, bitch! <laughs> So she she says. Now um, I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho, motherfucker. <laughs> says you I don't have to work. Gun. You don't have to work against me. I'm. I wouldn't send you out to die like you have been. Um, we haven't died. You're the one dying. Anyway, that, when she finished saying that, that's when the leg hits her in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And she drops. She just. It makes a whole new meaning to kneeing someone to the head. And again, um, the shock of it. She's like. It's like it's it's not like it's not like this is really hurting her as much as you, you it would a normal person, but she's not really expecting it, so she just drops to the floor. <laughs> she's like, you. Look at these people. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Bitch, we we British. Okay, so what yeah. are you doing? What, what she's, right, she's... My, rope, my rope is definitely done. Yeah, you, you've got you've got a rope hanging down there okay, now. Okay, I've rolled again so that I can throw my Christmas tree. Okay. <laughs> and I got twenty. I need you to go down the ladder. <laughs> Okay, she's, she's like, she's like, this is stu this is stupid, and as she tries to get back up, the tree hits her in the face. <laughs> she, she <laughs> like, you're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> I can't believe this is ending like this. <laughs> We're running out of shit to do. You're stupid. Oh, oh, get down the fucking rope. Stop climbing the rope. So you guys start. I need to go first. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and distract her still by shouting I'm at her. What the fuck? Throw the perfume bottle at her. Okay. Also, yeah. now you're yeah. throwing the perfume. <laughs> this is the moment. It's going to shatter. Okay, someone needs to throw it. Someone needs to do the throw roll. I can't. Oh, well, I can, but I, I'm going to add that. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. already thrown it off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Louise throws her perfume bottle off the roof. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Um, okay, so you guys manage to slip down the rope while she's distracted by the, all of this because she because she she duck she tries to dodge the perfume bowl because she's not taking yeah, a yeah. third hit, but instead she's that just distracts her while you guys head it down the rope. Its yep. All right. If I had a tiger, I'd throw a tiger. <clears throat> do we get down the rope safe? Yes, you do. Yes. Fucking peg it, leg it, <laughs> leg it. <laughs> um, what else can we throw? Yeah, you, you don't. She doesn't chase you. Um, oh. Oh. Just go, just keep going. Yeah. So, um, you, I can say you guys do. If you want, if you want, you guys can successfully get back down to the street level without without anybody stopping you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, um, so we're gonna be running so fast they'll be like, just let them go. Okay. So, <laughs> when you get when you reach street level. Wait, are we not going out of back before you say anything? Are we going out of back? It doesn't, doors? it doesn't, it won't make any difference either way. Like you, you get out, oh, on, right. you get out on, a, on arrest, on, a, on, you know, unconfronted basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you get all the way down to street level. You, I assume you probably enter out through the building site rather than going back through the center of Macy's. Yeah. Um, yeah. snow's falling all around. It's like a, you know, a beautiful Christmas so night in, 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 in New York City. And over in the dis, <laughs> over like th four blocks away, um, <laughs> by the harbor. <laughs> Um, you see a huge explosion lighting up the night sky. No. Your tiger. Eric, you have just fucking killed my tiger. We are <laughs> not playing. My tiger wasn't on that boat. Guys, that that is that the direction of the boat? No, I think we're stranded early. in America, guys. Yeah, we as early. My tiger's not on the boat. Karen, uh, I swear to God. Do you want to go? Do you want to go see what's 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 up? Karen, that was not my tiger. Oh, is that, you're gonna have to go investigate we... if you want to find out. Because we are not talking about. We're not going to Japan. I think to us going near home. there is. Do we change clothes into something more practical and also so we're not um, all black? So obvious. Yeah, yeah let's put our steely clothes on. <laughs> we are we are nearly done, but I would I would just recommend going going and investigating the boat. Okay, I guess, but yeah. we don't want to like stand in front and be really obvious to anyone like trying to see us. We're gonna go and try and like sneak up and like. Okay. Yeah. So you head yeah. over. You head over to the harbor. Um, the boat that you guys were due to head, the game came in on, due to go back on, is just erupted in flames. Oh um, my god. Uh, let, let, let me finish. It might not have been delivered yet. So, yeah. the stack of cargo to go on the boat, including one with, with uh, markings from Chinatown, is still on the side of the docks. <gasps> oh, thank god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Simba! No! Like, He's on the, the boat! Simba! Simba. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Ex 
Except on that box, um, there is like written in blood, "No way home." We can just get the next boat. It's tiger blood, then we are not talking. We can just get the next it's boat. It's not in tiger blood. It's not in tiger blood. Um, <laughs> And um, like, as you guys, I, as you guys, as you guys are standing, I mean, this is essentially the ending cutscene, pretty much. As you guys are standing, um, like around the around the cargo, um, with your live tiger in the box. <laughs> um, you're gonna kill us! I swear to God. No, you're not gonna kill you. The um, uh, Dahlia um, stands behind you and says, "You can, you can, I... you can try another boat, but I assure you, something even worse would happen." Um, Why are you blowing she says, up boats? She says, "You, you ladies and I have unfinished business, and until yeah, we until, finished our business, until, we shot until you. Until that, until that is resolved, you, here? you will not be leaving my country." Why right. are you so she obsessed says, with us? She says, um, <laughs> "Do you know what I have in this box?" Um, and she and she says, sort of, um, "Until next time, ladies," and then she just walks off into the distance. Let the tiger on her. I would love to, but I can't open the big wooden crowbar. I've got, I literally, I'm not even joking, I've got a crowbar. Actually, so oh, there we go, yeah. But I mean, she's already walked it's, off. It's, but she's sure, surely, surely she, she's leaving a trail of blood. As she, as she, as she walks into the shadow, she sort of, she sort of just disappears. Oh. I do oh. not want to get in trouble for letting a tiger run loose. Um, okay, well, guys, as soon as we find somewhere to stay, I think it's a good idea to find a way to tape this disc to my body so then if they're gonna try and take it they have to take me i'm happy um, to like wear it i'm happy to just carry you have to pry it from my cold dead hands we should probably find a oh, way to and, call the mistress and the last on the last we could have just inserted it up um you hear on the on the wind you hear um the voice of dahlia saying merry christmas ladies merry christmas you. And that's oh. actually and that's actually the end for now. That's the end. What? That's the end. Then we get to say one more thing to her because I don't like her having the last last. last yeah, time. I'm gonna shout. Fuck you. Um. Bar humbug. Oh, what's that thing that the TV thing shouts in Home Alone? You know the uh the. Uh, the guy on the TV show, and he shoots him up, and he goes, "Merry uh, Christmas, Christmas, you, you filthy animal!" animal. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we leave. So we leave the sh we leave um, the crew here um, in Christmas in New York with no way stranded, with no way home, cut off from your support network. You forgot to mention that, that there's a tiger with us too. And you do have a tiger, yes. Your tiger did survive. We are tiger. We are one tiger up in the world, ladies. This may be more of a hindrance than it is. Uh... No. <laughs> okay. Never a hindrance. Forget I said anything. All right. Well, well, thank you, well. thank you very much for for joining us for another adventure, um, uh, ladies. You're all awesome as always, and it was good fun. Um, hopefully, we'll be back in the new year for another another uh, adventure, bastards, to continue off where you guys are now stranded and kind of fucked. No. <laughs> Lovely. We got loads of money. I, yeah, I got yeah, so we haven't much out there. I got an umbrella and a tiger. Yeah. I lost the perfume bottle. It had to be done. I also got an umbrella. <laughs> and three hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. You've got six hundred dollars. Oh yeah, but I forgot, I forgot you can't count actually. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the recording there. So unless you want to say goodbye or anything to the audience. Oh. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas.